Dear Mother, I've been feeling a bit like a stray feather of a bird, tossed through the sky by a storm. A deep sense of melancholy has descended upon me, and try as I might, I cannot seem to shake this dark, sad feeling. I am finding that life is fragile, and often, despite my best efforts, there is little I can do to make a difference. We nearly lost Sarah. She has been my solace and my rock. I have already lost you and father. I don't think I could bear to lose her, too. A small rogue faction of the choir sacrificed themselves to give Sari her life back. When they did, Craggy was destroyed, leaving Sari without a weapon. As Keskes began rummaging through the greatest treasure to find her a replacement for Craggy, I reached into my pocket and my fingertips brushed something cold. I pulled out the piece of old steel that we had found at the top of the mesa, outside of the ruby oasis. Bolt crafted their shield out of Ald, and I asked if they would feel confident forging Sarah a new weapon. They said that they certainly could, but it would require intense heat. Upon hearing this, Keskes got a mischievous look upon his face, and we were soon led below deck. Keskes has been powering his ship with a dragon heart. The heart is massive and belonged to Keskes's master, the last known dragon in an area. We each offered a small token to be forged with the Ald. Sere offered the feather Ambaris had given her, which I found quite fitting as she, like Ambaris, has experienced a rebirth of sorts. I gave my feather from Goldie, a blessing from the trio. Victor provided a shard from the steel wind oak, a nod to the eight rings. Ezra pulled out a thread from his blue scarf, a gift from the withered bow tribe. And Bolt gave up their flower crown from the festival at Six Hills, where our journey together began. Bolt placed our items along with the Ald into the forge. The heat of the dragon heart melted our offerings into the Ald right away, and it soon glowed red. Bolt struck the Ald three times, and without any intense hammering or molding, the Ald formed into a beautiful double-bladed scimitar. Sari's face lit up as she took the weapon in her hands. She's been practicing with it nonstop. She'll master it in no time. It took us a day traveling through a wicked storm to make it to our destination and where we are now, the gateway to the Temple of the Eternal Gale, it looks like this used to be a beautiful campus filled with buildings of worship and peace. But there is a reason this place is called the Broken Expanse. Everything is broken and torn. Keskes dropped us off on a large ring-shaped piece of land. There is a beautiful marble archway in the southwest corner of this ring. In the middle of the ring is a massive marble sphere. It is cracked with fleshy egg sacs oozing out of it. It seems this sphere is where the insect-like creatures have been coming from. We approached the archway and found the body of a dead man. We inspected his things and found a book on his person. His name was Talik Vo, both a follower of the trio and a member of the Eight Rings, specifically the Diamond Wing. In his hand was a beautiful weapon a flail decorated with etched snakes whose mouths surrounded little holes in the head of the flail. I took the weapon in my hands and Talik's body crumbled to dust. I had a feeling that this weapon was meant for me, handed down from the trio's previous champion to its current champion. I asked Bolt to inspect the weapon and they found that it is infused with magic and blessed by the trio themselves. Upon the archway, we found four indentations in the marble and a message telling us that the wind would be our guide. Victor and I sat on the steps by the archway to read more of Talik's journal while the others began exploring the nearby buildings. Sarah and Ezra got into a little scuffle with some dead monks, which they quickly destroyed. They also found a little silver-handed mirror in an old and dirty bathhouse. We made our way to the temple to the west of the archway, stopping at empty buildings along the way. 
In one of the sand gardens, we found a small silver necklace with a scroll of parchment inside. On the parchment was written, Middix is a windbag. <laughs> that gave us all a good laugh. We entered the western temple and found it had a domed ceiling in which an ominous-looking storm brewed. Huge bolts of lightning erupted from the ceiling and hit an orb in the center of the room. The orb was being held by two large constructs. Ezra politely explained that we had been sent to the temple to prove ourselves. The constructs let go of the orb, turned to us, and bowed. Either they were expecting us, or they had done this before. An arc of lightning erupted from the orb in the center of the room and hit Bolt. Their shield absorbed the crackling energy and little streaks of lightning crawled across their body. Sari leapt into the center of the room and used her new weapon to hack away at one of the constructs. I hopped on Darian's back with my new flail in hand and swung at the construct. My flail made a whistling sound as it flew through the air. Darian rammed his horns into the construct's body and we quickly dropped it to the ground. Bolt engaged with the remaining construct and it quickly returned blows. Ezra shot off several arrows, filling the construct like a pincushion. Then Victor finished it off with his knives. A streak of lightning erupted from the orb, pouring a bit of life back into one of the constructs, which started to stand once more. Sari quickly killed it again, then struck the orb with her scimitar. Her body shook as the orb sent a jolt of lightning through her weapon. I pulled my javelin off of my back and threw it into the orb. With each attack, the orb diminished in size. Bolt attempted to shroud it in magical fire, but that didn't seem to have any effect. Ezra and Victor attacked with their arrows and knives, and the orb shrunk down to the size of a melon. Sari and I made our final few attacks, and the orb dropped. The storm above cleared. All that was left of the orb was a triangular-shaped stone, with a symbol etched on it that matched one of the indentations on the archway. This was one of four temples on this ring of earth. I'm curious to know what we find at the others. I will continue to read Talek's journal. I have much to learn from him and his experiences. I get the feeling he was a bit of an outcast like me. While we both appreciate and understand the way of our people, it is not the life we were meant to lead. The trio has shown me that. Though I get discouraged and can feel like I am crossing a deep lake with nothing more than a thin sheet of ice keeping me from drowning, I must continue trusting in the trio. The trio will provide. Love, Eve. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tales of an Area Session 30. Woo! Woo! I don't know, we're in the same clothes as that other video. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that video yes. was posted like a Dude, week ago. So it's been like matter. a week. <laughs> Come on, you had to change at some point. Um, welcome to the new channel. This is are the first really? episode. No. Post oh, channel. Which, well, yes, technically. <laughs> yes, technically. Because we were just recording. <laughs> I think, time we, time time is, I think no. we broke Tori. No. We don't restart in this program. What are you talking about? Seriously? <laughs> 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 Not like. Chronomancy is foot. I mean, how do you remember you wear much... week to week? Like, I can't remember I what I wore I just look at the yesterday. episode the day before I come here and I know what I wore. And I go, okay, don't wear that. Uh, but yes, this you know, is the first. <laughs> official episode that we're recording uh, post-channel <laughs> changeover, so thank you so much for subscribing. New Year's, we, off to a good start. Yeah, we really appreciate all of the uh, yeah, effort. I can't believe on. we already hit 10,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's so <laughs> Way to go. That, like People are going to look at our 200 subscriber count and be like, oh boy. They really, hey, we I better have just to. putting it out there, right? This is like my, my vision board. Okay, yeah. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. Just, <laughs> gotta dream it if gonna, you want to believe it. Manifest. All 10,000. That's okay. <laughs> but I do believe that <laughs> same outfit. Just go back to the other yeah. channel, yeah. watch it for a second, then come back. Yeah. You'll see. You know when people are like, hey, 
do you know that gullible's written on the ceiling? I'm always like, really? Yeah. <laughs> you just did that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. Yep. Hi, I'm gullible. Hi, mm-hmm. Global. I'm the nice DM. To meet you. Uh, that joke. <laughs> uh, a couple other reminders before we begin. Go join our Discord too, uh, if you haven't already. It's a Pretty really fun. fun place. We have a lot of cool discussions going on there. Yeah, the Somebody scenes. was talking about a really weird method of uh, the Munchkin method. Yeah, the Munchkin method, where you roll How all you your dice so and then dice? you organize them into your stats. Like, I oh, that's I don't weird. know if I, I like it. it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's I crazy. Do. Chaos. So <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm not drooling, you're drooling. <laughs> the DM in me is like, no, that's too fair to the players. <laughs> <laughs> I'll t- uh, and I will make a deal. If we can get up to 10,000 subscribers, I will post a Scott painting video from one of the figures. Ooh, uh, cool. And for either an upcoming episode in or In real time or fast mo? Uh, fast mo. Okay. But I'll, we'll, we'll give <laughs> real it time will be player. like a Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and so all three people Scott can continue. Okay, let's though. get to it. Hold um, on. One more thing. It, oh, yes. We have merch. We have merch. Yeah, check it out. We have merch. Links in the description below, along it's, with the Discord uh, and the Reddit. We got cups. We got hats. <laughs> we got stickers. <laughs> Not underwear yet. Working yep. on no, it. I'm just going to record you doing that. Like, <laughs> just play it every Just like a, like a used car salesman. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, let's well, crazy I'm Anthony Jones. It's something very fast. Totally awesome computers. Like, yeah. solutions apply. Okay, we'll do it. Underwear, underwear. not available. Yeah. Yep. Just if yeah. you're looking for it, it's in the link below, or if you're on Etsy, just look, search for Tales of Area. If there's something specific you want, let us know. See if we can grab it. We'll see if we can grab it. Yeah. But, uh, and an official welcome to 2022. Technically, the last mm-hmm. episode will be after the new year, but uh, this one is the first official one. Wait, this isn't after the new year. It's still Not 2021 oh my when we're recording this. <laughs> Why can't we get out of this year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, Corona. It's getting right? real close. Yep. yep. But let's it's go ahead and get into the session tonight uh, with a quick reminder that uh, you all threw weapons at a uh, ball of lightning last time. You threw your your brand new double bladed scimitar at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you shot uh, a couple arrows at it. Mm-hmm. Victor threw a, a dagger at it, and Eve, you threw a javelin at it. Mm-hmm. Twice. And no, only once. Oh, that, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the javelin twice. Because it comes yeah. back. Which, by the way, I also wanted to remind you, your javelin requires attunement to use its other properties. So you may have to just attune to that instead of the harness. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. what she was doing the um, whole time. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what it was the whole time. Um, totally right. So for those of you who did throw a weapon or ammunition at this orb, as you pick it up, it kind of crackles a you little bit with electricity. Um, so for the next attack, with that, that ammunition for two arrows for you, cool. uh, one of Victor's daggers and your double-bladed scimitar and your javelin, uh, it will do 1d6 lightning damage on its next attack. Sweet. So, mm-hmm. Whether that's going to be helpful in a temple of air, who actually knows? Sari's hair is still... Like, oh yeah, it's definitely... <laughs> your Sari fro is frizzy. So when you, when you got uh, resurrected... Did you come back with a full head of hair or still half shaved? It was it was clean shaved. Yep. Uh, so Vanguard then it's only style. up on one side. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still standing straight up, but it's just like it's just there's, a, there's a bald spot right there. You said 1d6? 1d6 damage. Yep, just on the next attack. So for for Ceridon, it might not be as important, but that's basically two lightning am- ammo for uh, Ezra there. So. And you have the first of four rune stones. I smell that should it. get you. It smells like a, a stone that's been struck by lightning. Mm. It's a little bit of ozone, a little bit of stone. Mm. The burning oh, electronic smell. smell. Stone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stone. Yep. Oh, stone. <clears throat> um, and now, what do you do? Uh, <laughs> I, I will. Just, <laughs> still feels so there, stupid. I'll walk over to Eve <laughs> think with the that. rune stone and say, what do we do with this? <clears throat> you have it now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to track it. I'm to track it. You're the leader. <laughs> well, I think it goes in that archway. Um, there was four slots there. Mm-hmm. Should we do them one at a time or try to get all four first? Let's oh. let's do one at a time. Okay. Maybe something needs to be In case they have to go in a certain order or something, we don't all want to die at the well, same time. How first <laughs> of all, how big is this donut? Like, we was walking to the next lo- this first location. Did it take us hours or was it like a half an hour? It was probably. 
I mean, it's not a big temple area, so it was probably just a couple minutes to get. Okay. Here. Yeah. So, okay, now my brain's thinking of the Halo ring. We're gonna activate the, it and kill all. In of the in the meantime, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to use lay on hands. Okay. On myself, mm-hmm. unless we want to take a short rest. I don't know if we have time. Uh, uh, so I will say that the other in this archway. area you can take short rests, okay. but you will not be able to take a long rest while okay. you're in here. I'll go ahead and give you that now. It, with the aberrant creatures that are still skittering about, you're probably not going to be able to get away with more than just a couple uh, right. moments of. Should, breathe should we take a short rest? I, I could use uh, a moment to patch myself up a bit. Right. Well, let's go ahead and go <clears throat> walk back to the yeah, we'll walk to the archway and patch ourselves up on the wall. Sure. Yeah. We'll As we're walking, we I'll, I'll uh, talk to Sari and say, "Well, you killed your first enemy. I did. Your weapon. What's its name? It took you long enough to ask. <laughs> Everyone made such a big deal of it last time. What are you going to name? What are you going to name? <laughs> I mean." Only I saw us kill the ghost. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for somebody to, to <laughs> step in and say, seems like you have a very serious and intimate relationship with your hammer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's a, it's a very personal thing. We don't want to intrude. It is, anything, it know. is. I, I have decided, and this was all my decision, and I came up with this all on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses out of out of character. I'm notoriously like not great at naming things, and so I'm always like throwing out to everybody else, like, "Hey, what should I name the episode this week?" And usually, my first idea is like really bad, and then somebody else comes up with something that sounds really cool, and it's usually Corey. Um, <laughs> and then you just name it your first idea anyway. Uh, <laughs> lately, but that tends to be based more on algorithm stuff. Anyway. Um, that's right. called being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I follow the advice. I just need to, you know, bounce it's up. Okay. What did you name your soul for? Bounce for any suggestions. Because I don't anyway. have any good you ideas. Stole it. Uh, uh, uh. I, I don't have any good ideas. I'm just over here like, well, Dallin, you remember that you wore that same outfit last week? That? Like. I have decided to name it the Scale Breaker. Very nice. That's a very cool name. We all gasp. It's in you know because of the whole like balance thing, and I'm trying to get rid of balance, and a balancer would be a terrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to go with scale breaker. So that sounds way cooler. That does it's sound pretty cool. much cooler. Oh, and there are also scales in choirs, right? And Music. dragons, which we we know are real. Well, mm. we do know where we the, the heart hearts. of one. We're forged real. Where would the heart have come from if a dragon wasn't real? The Did last, it just appear as a heart? Dragon? The last dragon, it's there's dead. No, there's, there's no, no more. No, no, there are more. more. There's more. <laughs> Life finds a way. Life. Bolt and Eve agree. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to we're gonna yeah. find. We're going to find an island. There's a place we're called find Isla Nubar yeah. in this. That dragon in this park. expanse, That's right. That's right. <laughs> where someone has Joe found dragon dragons park. in no, amber but they're and brought them back. They're all miniature. <laughs> this donut dragon that we're on is an actual donut for a uh, dragon. It's a giant dragon. dragon it's like, hey, yeah. I don't want those sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right. This, this conversation takes place as you guys are on your way. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Of course. Um, yeah. You pass by. If you remember, there were uh, two sets of barracks that you passed through. You just pass right back through them. Um, without incident, and you reach the arch that has these four um, inlets where you can stick the rune stones. Again, they're kind of like a triangular rune stone with rounded corners, and there's a specific symbol carved into it, and you can see that there is a corresponding symbol on one of these inlets. What's looks on, like what symbols this on this one? Here? This looks like the little it's, toys that the kids it's, play it's, with. It's an Aurin uh, letter, basically. See what happens when you put it in the wrong one. Don't do that. Let's not. How dare him do it? I mean, is, <laughs> I mean, is, we're talking I mean, each shape. Does he have opposable thumbs? Each shape is unique. Right. Right. Each shape is unique. Yep. Well, I think that's why it's so hard. Sorry, no, so it's a shape. It's not a shape. It's a triangle. That's why it's so hard to teach him how to use spoons again every time he dies. It's like you use the square and shove everything through that one. We're playing that. What's that game? Do you remember that game? Shape sorter. When you were a kid, and it was like you set a timer. It's like you get the pieces in. Oh yeah. I got that for my kids for Christmas. You did. Freaked out. It's an anxiety game. Perfection. 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 I was going to say, was say pres- anxiety. I was going to say pressed but I was like, no, I don't think. That's, no, yeah. That sounds wrong. Um, yes, that's what we're doing. Key. We, Perfection. There's, there's a specific uh, meme video out there where the guy's like, 
And where does the circle go? That's right, in the square hole. And he puts yeah. every single yeah. piece yeah. in the square hole <laughs> for those. Yeah. That's what it's like when you're yeah. a DM trying to get your players to, you know, bite mm -hmm. out some books, and they yeah. just no. don't. They just throw down the square hole. Yeah. <laughs> they just decide to put the rune in the wrong thing to see what happens. <laughs> well, it it only. I, I was. I was. Do joking. you want me to no. do it? No, no. Right. I don't feel like dying. Well, I knew well, a I warrior. think I would be the one who did I knew a Tushin warrior who going? was supposed to do some symbols, and he did the wrong one, and a dragon came and burned everybody to death. So I don't think we should do that. <laughs> that is that is a, a, a it wasn't a dragon. Tale. It was it's a story, but it's a famous Tushin legend. So don't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tushin have some weird ways, man. <laughs> we'll put it in the right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you you slide it in. It clicks into place. There's a little bit of like a. You know, static electricity that comes off and sparks your hand a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it just clicks into place. Okay. Do we see, do we see any timers that pop up or like dungeon, whatever, like the health bars no, or anything? No glowing. No glowing. It just says like, one of four in your vision over here a little bit. In the HUD. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, All right. good job, boss. Door, destroyer of worlds. Where On to, to the next? Um, to the then? south? Like, yeah, we can go to the other place. So we can go <laughs> Although, back through the place we were. Do you mind if we take a, take a quick breather? Oh, no. We, uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Go ahead and take a short rest. Yeah. We'll just consider that all part uh, of the short rest. Cool. That, that conversation about whether or not to put it in the incorrect uh, slot happened during the short rest. So it was an hour long conversation before you finally committed. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a long conversation. I told you the full version of the story. It took an hour. It's like, <laughs> you can just have it and at the end, you, right? some of us were asleep. Yep. And don't forget box. that you two have snuggle beasts. That yep. <gasps> so when you play, snuggly just, wuggly. Uh, okay, so after a short rest, are we heading south? South or north? South. south? Okay. South. So not the way you were going around. You're just going Previously. to the yeah, opposite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so your journey south takes you. After about five minutes, you come to the next. Yeah, we're not doing anything logically. No, I didn't think you would. Okay. Um, the next one, we're going to take Kess Kess and go underneath the yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try and everybody climb on the flying broom and go over the torus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so you come to another set of the same kind of buildings that are throughout. Uh, so you can you can investigate them if you'd like, or you can move on uh, just directly to the southern temple. I think we should investigate. I need to investigate. Absolutely. I would like to see if I can find more uh, artifacts, more yeah. mirrors, more ghosts. Uh, go ahead and roll me an investigate check. More I'll let you. Guys, I'll let you and Victor investigate the bathhouse because okay. that seems to be the. That's your thing. Consensus. You go to bathhouses okay. together. Oh, yeah. I got a natural one. I get a nosebleed. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about going to the bathhouse. Oh, great. You don't find I'll anything move. in this bathhouse. Even if I go into the water and then just kind of like. Yeah, fall no, into it's it. It's really murky. <laughs> okay. You come out like covered in that kind of like green slime that mm. happens. Yeah. If you don't like it, press the digitation it away. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and that somewhere else is you guys, uh, the rest of you are investigating the barracks area. Mm -hmm. And you uh, you come up on the door and you can hear you can hear scratching inside and chittering. I think there's a cat on the other side of the I door. I don't think it's a cat. Let's try. How loud is the chittering? It's one of the yeah. inside. Uh, it's like, well, I mean, it's it's fairly loud. It sounds like several different uh, chittering. And there's a sounds. herd of cats. No, it's those insecty like things that, that, that keep attacking us. Should, should we squash them? Mm -hmm. I think we should squash. All right. Are we back with the group at this point? Uh, yeah, at that point, I'll let everybody can be back together. Um, so who would like to check the door? I'll check the door. Okay. Give me a self check. Just to see if you can... Peek your head in really quick without attracting any attention. Yeah, it was too fast. I didn't see anything. <laughs> ten. Uh, ten. So you get a good look, and you see that there are uh, aberrant creatures inside. Uh, you at least spot the gatherers that you're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, there appear to be two that look different, but not like any that you've seen before. And they are... Are they, they big? Kind of, they're, not, they're not like as big as the warriors were that okay. you guys fought on, on the airship, but they're bigger than the gatherers. Mm. What did you find? Uh, looks like there's a handful of the little small ones and um, a couple, couple larger ones. Not not the same ones that we fought on the ship earlier, but um, about halfway in between size wise. I see. Uh, Perhaps we have to dispose of them so that they don't come for us later when we're in the middle of a fight. Uh, was there anything else in the room? But I could see that 
maybe you would have been like, oh, that's worthwhile to go in there and look at. Uh, no, it looked. It just looked like a couple. The two larger ones. They looked to be uh, like putting something together. Not like, not like complex like an IKEA furniture, um, but like, but like <laughs> they were building a Hessenson glass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were piling something on top of each other. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a the best way to get like fantasy like names is to walk through IKEA and join. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's a great NPC name. The Huda. The Huda. Well. <sighs> Only we had a fireball. <laughs> I would like to stealthily approach the door. Can I roll a stealth check? Yep. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because then I'm going to kick the door in and then go inside. So. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 too late. <laughs> More science! <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get the official initiatives, uh, go ahead and take a look at uh, the uh, aberrant builders that you guys mm. are, are seeing here. <gasps> uh, Ooh, more creatures. delightful bugs. Jeez. Hello, little bug creatures. Oh, Frida. Yeah, Those well, are... we can remember where it is. Okay, nasty. But good painting on that. Thanks. That's really cool. Uh, Bolt, what is your initiative? 14. 14. The big Zargoings? No, not 13. 14. Eve. All the 13. <clears throat> 19. I like their thorax. Ezra. 10. Saradon. 22. Oh, sorry. Victor. I, um, sorry, wouldn't pay attention. 21. 21. I look like a mix of a termite and a carpenter ant. Yeah. And uh, one of those Jericho crickets. I just, I I have the I have the need to know more. Do you want to know more? I'm doing my part. <laughs> About what? Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, that was. Uh, I got it. It was. Uh, it was a uh, Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those look I've like those, those look, those look similar time. to the ones to me they that do. that like yeah. spit the, the acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Was that Pacific Rim before Pacific Rim? So kind of was. Yeah. Kinda Minus yeah. the mechs. Kind of. Kind of was. Yeah. It was Ender's game before it was Ender's game. It was funny. Okay. Uh, just a moment here, because this is giving me trouble. The book? Wonderful. The, the, uh, the, the book yes, is very, got trouble. very different. Because it's not a comic, right? Papers. No, not at all. Right here. Oh, it's yeah. very the, serious, and just what this whole, the whole story was like very different. It was very yeah, the it's like it's like yeah, it's like mil it's like military um, required reading and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Okay. All right, we're going to start off with, uh, despite Victor breaking down the door, Saradon uh, manages to act immediately after that. Mostly okay. I'm home. <laughs> Sarah will just run in and start swinging at uh, the Zergling. So anyway, that's your blast. Don't forget, you get a D6. Came of, like of, a that's right. <laughs> like, um, Never see the flower at all. <laughs> And can I we get a whole rendition? <laughs> I don't have blood. Can you play? Can I don't we, have advantage anymore. Can we use some like time magic so you can become a bard again? <laughs> yes. Does a twelve hit? In another universe. A twelve hit. Totally totally same a accent. Attack. Everything. Hundred percent bard. <laughs> Second attack. This is better. Twenty-five. Twenty-five will hit. Go and roll me damage. Okay, so I get an extra d6 of lightning. Yep. yep. And a d6 of fire. Oh yes, that's right. Because yours is then. Fancy. So it's 2d4 plus 2d6. That's right. Nice. And some really terrible rolls. Uh, 4, 5, 8, 13 damage. That's enough. Nice. Okay. Squish. You guys have fought gatherers before. Yeah. Back when you were level 3, they're not as uh, She'll difficult. run up to this one then and bonus action with the other end of... of um, the scale breaker. That's the one. The scale breaker. Uh, that's a... 21. That'll hit. Four. 11 damage. And that's another one gone. Which one was that? Gone. I'm nervous oh, about what these fellas in the back are building. <laughs> it looks like they're just building a mound of flesh at this point. That kind of happens. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Just a mound of flesh. So, there's no bones. Just skin. So, are they. <clears throat> What number was that one? That, that was two. They're making babies. Are, are they like dung beetles where they find like corpses and they kind of like yeah. roll them up and then roll them down? The, I like that. That's and then cool. they put it, they kind of use the flesh into them. A little bit. Turning them back into stem cells. They navigate with the light of the, of the Milky Way. Yeah. Science. 
Science. Science. We're learning. This for Victor, science. it is your After turn. <laughs> As Saradon just comes like whirling past you and just like whirling blade slices to. Wow, well, the, the scales are really breaking here. I'm going to cast <laughs> <laughs> Cloud of Daggers on that guy. Oh, yeah, because they're in the. Over on one of them in, spe- in specific. Um, he, can, he can cast it between the squares. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm basically going to get the two of them on their turn. Um, That's what I was. When it enters the air, it spells area for the first time, which counts as this, right? No. No. So they have like it, it will on be at the turn, start right? of their turn. They will end, they will start their turn there. First time or, but, or, yeah. or when it starts turn. Okay, fine. So the I'm gonna throw. Uh, uh, I'll just throw this here. Maybe we should have the battle map up. The daggers Sorry. are there. <laughs> <Whoops. laughs> we're fighting, by the way. There was one here and one here, and they're gone. They're and gone. then I'm gonna use my movement. Five, ten, fifteen. I'm gonna screw around twenty, thirty, thirty-five. Nope, thirty. Thirty. Not that bad. I'm gonna go about right here. Um, and I will bonus action. I'm going to empower my bull. No, that's an action. Yeah. Right. I'm going to bonus action. Then I can throw out blades, so I'll throw out some. Throw a couple. Basically, just kind of cast them out. I'll go, clean Sandman. Uh, no, go. Okay. Yeah, so you just kind of like start tossing daggers, toss one of your iron leaves uh, out, and every, it just kind of starts creating this whirlwind inside. And then it is Eve. Okay. Eve is going to throw the javelin in. Okay. Right just in the middle. Oh, so I have to, hang on. So if I'm just throwing it, mm-hmm. I guess, do I still have to throw? Like Are you roll? using the special ability? I'm using the special ability. Uh, so I believe they they have to make a... You don't have to roll for the throw. Right. They have to just make... They, okay, so they yeah. need to make a... And who, what does it Deck affect? save. Who does it affect? Creatures of my choice. Within... A 20-foot radius of wherever I throw it. Okay. So if you throw it there, yep. yeah, you'll hit them all. Yeah. Yeah, you... Okay. And it's a deck save, you say? Mm-hmm. 13. Oh, 13. Right. Looks like a uh, success and a failure on each of the, the pairs. Yeah, each of the pairs. Okay, so then I will roll a d6 for. So for the little guy, it is going to be. Oh, this creature is struck by two beams of light. Mm-hmm. I think it's just you roll once, but now you roll twice for everybody. So I think it's just once. Anyway, go on. It says for each creature hit by the light, roll a d6. Oh, okay. All right. Don't tell me how to play my I'm team. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. It's okay, like, so one of the I, games... I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should. One of the games will be an um, orange for acid damage, okay. and the other one will be yellow for lightning. Okay, and that's on with the little guys you said. The little guy, and so then the other guy will be acid. Okay. Also. Uh, so the first one will be a full hit. The second one will be a half hit. Uh, so go ahead and roll... Uh, damn it. Oh, I guess you just roll... 2d10. Yeah, 2d10, and it will be... Well, that's for each beam. Yes. So... Yep, so it's 4d10. 4d10 for that, and then, and then 2d10, 10, yeah. Nice. So that's 10 um, acid on the little guy. Okay. That's the double one. Or this is the double beam? Yeah. Yeah, plus 17... A lightning. There's nothing left of that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one is gone. And then uh, for the other one, it was uh, so just 2d10 for that one? 2d10. So that is um, 14 acid. But oh. this was, I get the lightning damage, the extra lightning damage, because I use the javelin. You said I get... That was technically for a melee, for attack. like an actual physical attack. But I'm going to allow it. Yeah. Go ahead and roll the d6 for that. Okay, six. Okay. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> other one is gone. Of course. Yep. You made the save on that, and then you roll me uh, for the big guy that you hit fully. Okay. So that is a 1911. Uh, you have to roll the d6 for. Oh. First, just to make sure. Three. Okay. So 11 on what type of damage? Mm. Well, oh, it was all lightning, right? Uh, no, oh, no, no. So th- what? What is? Because doesn't three tell you? Three, what type three of tells you what type of damage. Oh no, right. sorry, I already rolled. Okay, let was... me. Okay, let me. So yeah, it will be lightning. Mm-hmm. So that so lightning damage on lightning. Him. 
Okay, and then... What did I say? 11. And then you said 11. 11. So 11. 11 lightning damage on the one that you hit fully. Yes. Okay. And then actually roll your d6 for that to add on top of it as well. Five. So a total of 16 lightning damage. Okay. And then on the... The one that you hit um, for half damage. Is fire damage. Fire damage. And that is two... I only heard one dice roll there. It is 2d10 plus a d6. Oh. It was supposed to be. Uh, so, so seven. Seven, seven, seven in your d6. Plus one. Okay. So eight total. Damage. Cut yeah. in half for the save. So four. Nice. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. You are you just toss your javelin right in the center. Uh, it bursts in a, in a dazzling array of like multicolor, multi-spectral mm. energy. And when it clears, the two <laughs> other workers are gone. Both the builders have been kind of uh, seared and scored a bit, and the javelin reappears in your hand. Because ha that's ha. Whoa. And then, uh, what so, would Darian like to do? Wait, wait, wait. That I did, get... So that counts as like a magical oh, okay, use okay. of the ability, <laughs> so right, you don't right. get the second Okay, Darian is <clears throat> going to... Um, do you want me... Like, if I hop on his back, is that... Do you consider that a... Uh, it's just part of your movement, which you haven't taken okay. yet. Okay, so. so I'll hop on his back, yep. and we will... How far away is he? Can he do a move? Oh, yeah. 15, yes, 20, he, he's 20, a bounder. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Um, I want him to charge. Any one in particular? Um, the one on the left was the one you hit. Yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> so... That's, that's Darian. So eager for combat. <laughs> oof. 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 Is... 26 Each for that. <laughs> so two. Oh, wait, I have to roll to see if I hit. Yeah. Do I. It's been um, a couple <laughs> weeks. <laughs> and a long Christmas yeah. holiday. 14. A 14. Plus six, so 20. A 20. Where is this? 20 will hit. Oops, yep. Okay, so. For the ram. Pathetic. So two for that. Pathetic, Darian. <laughs> <laughs> You're pathetic. <laughs> um, okay. Plus seven. And it needs to succeed on a strength saving throw. What was the total damage? Notched. Seven plus two. Two? two? Uh, well, you only needed six. Okay. So no no saving throw needed. Uh, Darian just like rams right, right through it. it. That kind of uh, <laughs> bug like icker comes out and starts like spilling all over his horns. You're gonna have to clean oh, it. Bug like yeah. icker. Mm. Mm, delicious. Alright, and then uh, let's see. Gatherer's dead, gatherer's oh. dead, that one's dead. Bolt! <laughs> Uh, I'm going to run up as far as I can. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then uh, chain whip. Nice. Whip it. Crap that whip. Whip it good. Whip it good. Not good. Uh, nine. Nine will not hit. Okay. Okay. But you definitely have its attention now. Yeah. And it is all alone, the poor thing. Ezra, it's your turn. Okay. Um, gosh. There's not much to do. I'll just shoot it from here. X-Burn! I'll send him to give me some advantage. Okay. Ooh. Sharpshooter. Ooh. Yep, sharpshooter. Um, so that's going to be 19 to hit. 19 will hit. All right. So that's going to be... I assume you're right uh, there. Not uh, within 11. the cloud of daggers. Not within the cloud of daggers, Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. 22 yeah. damage. 22 <laughs> is enough to take it out, actually. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, it's like over here. <laughs> yep. So. Okay. That's that. Okay. You guys managed to take them out before they even reacted. Mm-hmm. Good job. But my vision's failing this mound of poo. Uh, um, uh, so go ahead and give me... What type of check do you think would be appropriate to examine this mound of aberrant flesh? <laughs> What's your poo scale? <laughs> What's your poo scale? Well, mine is zero. Is that nature? You're, 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 you're tracking, I don't tracking. She does, but it's medicine. actually the, the other type of scale. The skinny bottom type. Yeah. <laughs> medicine or nature? No! 
<laughs> performance check. <laughs> we'll do a performance check. Yeah. We'll do a scat check. <laughs> um, give me, give me nature or arcana uh, or actually medicine might uh, give you some insight here as well. Eleven. Eleven. You're not really sure what the intention was for this, uh, but you do know they were building something like you could see some like internal organs in here mm. like it looks like they were trying to put something together organs but they of like what type of a creature it looks like I mean, the same type tell? of yeah I don't think you can tell. This, yeah uh, that looks like the liver of a fish um <laughs> and that is the leg bone of a rabbit because it's, it's completely like alien okay. uh, anatomy as far as you're aware victor will call back all his legs <laughs> Joey, like, set it on the fire. bug was moving i swear <laughs> We should set it on fire. I will firebolt it. Okay. Uh, try, to, try to start it on fire. Yeah, it just it catches fire quickly and burns away. So that smells horrible. Yes. yes, it does smell horrible. We, we, we evacuate the premises. We have okay. buggy icker on Darian. <laughs> and now we've burned. I pressed, Is there anything I pressed in to digitate here? it off him. Oh, um, go ahead and roll me an investigate check. I, uh, I try to wipe the slime 12. off. Just look at it you guys. So as you as you kind of are just like looking around again, these barracks are pretty like bare, right? It looks like everything's bare. They put the bear in yeah. barracks. Yep. Uh, everything's been cleared away. All of the material has been gathered by these aberrant creatures. You can clearly see that they've been here before, and they're just back here now for whatever this is. Um, but you're kind of moving around, and you see that there's a loose tile up against uh, one wall, and you kind of shimmy it off there. And there's a little stack of, uh, or a little sack of gold in there. Mm. Uh, you got 15 gold. So, most of there is a stack of cards. You know. We're making it rain. You just start tossing the coins at your I'm friends. I'm just giving oh, it to Three everyone. gold each. Oh, well, yeah. Three gold. Oh, Not a lot, but. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm at a possum. <laughs> My blood hurts. <laughs> That's your next character's voice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Remember be the ugly one. Oh, oh, yeah, it. it's hard to forget. Yeah, <laughs> and she a, will be called the ugly one. I got a Trogdor T-shirt for Christmas. Oh, and I'm so excited about it. I need to get like a Teen Girl Squad. <laughs> the board game's pretty fun. There's a board game. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Burninator. Well, it's just called, called Trogdor. Yeah. Okay. You're racing. You're racing against okay, Burninator. He's trying to. Uh, Trogdor's trying to burninate the town and all the villagers, and you're trying to. You're trying to stop him. Stop it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't stop Trogdor. I just remember oh, there was Pooh Smith. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> could have used him tonight. Yeah. We could have used Pooh Smith. Tonight. I said consummate V's. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Continuing on your way to the Southern Temple, then uh, there is, doesn't appear to be anything else here. Again, you check that same shack that all of these areas have, and it is just cleared out. Love shack, baby love shack. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that was the last one. We're making a love child. Mm-hmm. Ah. I think it's time to move on. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I have not been around other adults. I think that's my problem. <laughs> For the last two like weeks. Too much kid energy. Yes. I found yeah. Everything's poop jokes and. I apologize. Yeah. Well, then, wow. why, then we don't count as adults if it's. No. <coughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. sure. Uh, so Mostly adults. You arrive. I have, to, I have to actually pull this up so I can give you the description of it. <laughs> that would be helpful, right? It's been a while. It's been, since it's been a while. We can just say that for every episode. It's been a while. Twenty <laughs> siders. Okay. All right. So while the other uh, domed building that you've seen has been kind of a, it was kind of like a uniform temple in the distance you saw the north one it was kind of similar uh this one is unique the tall building at least 100 feet or more uh, stretches up into the sky and as you step up to the doors you can see that it probably has enough room to fit at least two levels if not more um do we just open up the doors or are we how are we doing this why don't you see if it's trapped for science Oh, wait, uh, you... Carefully, the carefully. last time you opened the door, <laughs> Sere died, so be very careful. Mm. So do I win my bet because you're still alive? Like, not to blame anyone. That's a, yeah, not to blame you, but... but it definitely was you. It was pretty much your fault. Fair, you killed Sere. <laughs> I can take that, that's fine. She got better. <laughs> sort of. Let's see, 11 plus my... Let me slide a hand. Um, or is this just a bit the investigation? Investigation, just because you're you're not trying to unlock the door, you're just checking for traps. That's going to be twelve. What is your investigation? Plus one. Oh, I have plus seven. <laughs> I could be checking for traps. Uh, I'm saying, I, I think, think I, 
I can't remember <laughs> if it's supposed to be investigation or perception. I think I just say whichever you want to use is fine. If it's, so if it's perception, perception, I have a plus three. So I mean, I it's, 14. I guess. There don't appear to be any traps on these on these doors. Doors are safe. I can open them. If it makes you feel... Step, Sarah, step back, please. <laughs> Unless there's some kind of tripwire like back cat there. cat who used my ninth life. <laughs> <coughs> Pushing your luck a little what bit, and I want to quietly open the door to see if there's anything. Okay. Uh, Assuming there, it's unlocked. There's no trap that triggers. It's okay. unlocked. Uh, you open up the door. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, inside the temple proper, you see uh. a... Uh. <laughs> a uh, kind of a grayish blue woman meditating in the center of the room. A pair of electrical swirls move about, picking up dust, dust and scoring away any grime that, with a sizzle of electricity. And four swirls of air spiral upward towards the ceiling above, where you can see four gaps in the ceiling uh, that the wind spiral through. And then you see a second set of holes that is also set into the ceiling, but the swirls of mystical wind seem to be coming down to the ground instead. Does, now, is she like the size of a human, so like a genasi? Uh, she looks, at this time, yes, like a genasi. So, I will relay this information. It seems there's a lady in there. She's doing some kind of voodoo magic. She's a relative. What do you mean? We don't all look alike. I am a fire and the, yep. uh, and the yep. water, and she's an air genasi looking for it. We're totally not even the same. Are you not very blue? Gray blue, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes when you're sad, you're kind blue. Of, you you kind of can't see my hair very well, but I've got like the red in there. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, she simple, seems to be very deep in thought. No would have sufficed. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all look in at this point? So yes. Sensitive. What, do we see oh, anything else in there? Uh, so she the gets only other thing that you can see human, are like... wind chimes okay. on the ceiling that seem to be kind of like bringing a soft melody to the room. To so there's air going up Good. and there's, down? Yep, there's air going up into oh, well, holes in the ceiling. Like they look about uh, five foot you're holes. Just a short okay. human. And then uh, <laughs> coming, there's air coming down out of other holes. In the so. Are they like on top of her or is she like off the side. They're they're kind of in uh, the cardinal directions around her. Basically, she's in the center, and then there there's eight different holes around her. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk up and uh, miss. And she opens up. Right Sorry to interrupt. Oh, visitors! I wasn't expecting visitors. Greetings. Uh, my name is Bolt. This is the Wayward Watch. What uh, can I ask? What you are doing? Meditating, waiting for those that will. Aid me. What do you need help with? You are here to get into the temple, correct? We were told to break wind and he will be our guide. The necklace says somebody's a... Middix. Wind something. Windbag. Windbag. Do you know someone named Middix? I believe there was a student here at one point mm. that uh, was a windbag. <laughs> <laughs> That's non canon She doesn't say that. <laughs> um, I, yes, um, we seem to be searching for some kind of runes. And she she kind of holds out her hand, and you can see half of a rune stone kind of floating, uh, just above her palm. Suddenly, like this. Yes. I and my sister have one of the rune stones you seek. Uh, to get it, you must. Fulfill our wish. And what would that be? To be free of this place finally. Mm. So, like, just and stab you and then you're free, and then the same to your sister. Or, like, let go. I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't make it easy for you, but yes. I it is a, a trial, after all. If you just want to leave, I've got the broom. We can go for a ride or something. I, I think we have to defeat her charge. in combat. Am I correct? You're correct. That's my kind of is better it, uh, trial. One on one. Or? Lady, it's probably like what uh, a bunch of uh, doofuses. <laughs> these, are, these are who are who's going to try and challenge us. Uh, you will face my sister and I together. And where is your sister? And she points up. She's above, and you must defeat us simultaneously. So, some like on the other upstairs, level, some of us downstairs. Yes. Again, we will not make it easy for you. You must prove yourselves if you want to get into the temple All right. and see the master. Oh, this is not the, I thought we were. And if we temple. defeat you, you're released. Our our essences will be able to return if uh, 
if that is what you choose for our cores. Are you familiar with elemental cores at all? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are. Slightly. And Boris? Not the bright, but we're not familiar with that one, but there are a lot of elementals. Brought back elemental gods before, it's not a big deal. Hmm. Well, um, once you have our cores, if you would shatter them, we would be most appreciative. We've lived long and we've seen much tragedy, as you can very well tell, and it's about time that our charge ends. And I hope that you can get everything you need for the temple. Very well. Okay. How, how do we get upstairs? You seem a decent There's stair somewhere. I hate to kill you. Uh, and she points to the four eddies heading up. Uh, I hate she to says, die. You seem a decent I hate to die. Um, do you two and Darian think you can handle this one while we go upstairs? Or would you like a different group? You think we can? Absolutely. Before you go, <clears throat> I will cast Bless. Okay. Is there a range on it? You have to like like line of sight all the time, or no? It's just no, it's cool. for the beginning of the spell. Where's your concentration? If I am grateful for you, what do you have? Right. Give Did you, you say of that? Oh, you get shield of faith. Did you say that that these were Janasi? Plus two days. That uh, she was a Janasi. She looks like a Janasi. She yes. looks like a Janasi. Yeah, Tori. She's she yeah. says she's an elemental gets, though. Um, well, I was going to cast it at second level, so that means. Four? four, so you four, mm-hmm. and oh, then right. and then Victor gives Eve shield of faith, yep. excellent, which is also concentration, <clears throat> right? Yep. Okay. So I think oh, like oh, everything oh, I have oh, is concentration. And she kind of just waits patiently as you prepare. We run upstairs. All right, I think that's what I, last I think minute. we're yeah. going upstairs. Oh, okay. let's, stay let's stay down. Hustle. Yeah. Try to run up the stairs in less than six is that seconds. Concentration for you. Uh, so again, there's no stairs. You oh. have to take the currents up. Oh, okay. I would jump into a current. Wee. Let's see if it's an electrical. Current. Yeah. So Ezra, yeah. Ezra gets into one of these whirlwinds, and it, you spiral uh, 50 feet up into the air, go through the little hole in the ceiling, and stumble Whoa. out on a similar platform with a, a similar-looking Janasi woman. And she opens up her eyes and she goes, "Is it time?" I'm time. just imagining him doing the slow ascent. I'm going to step, in, I'm gonna step into one as well and go okay. up. I think there are a few left. <clears throat> what happened? Okay. I just got to talk through this. I have aura of protection mm-hmm. plus aura of warding. Right, that gives resistance damage to, to resistance from spells. Mm-hmm. And then I took the interception fighting when you, style. When you hit level eight? Yes. Awesome. So I have to remember that. Okay. Stay close together. Yeah. So the uh, woman downstairs bows, and she says, "If you're ready to begin, everyone ready up there?" I peer back over the hole. Ready? Actually, uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go take cover my daggers. I'm gonna stick them in a four of them. One in each. You corner. like slowly walk around and just. So like, it's sh- it's Bolt, Ezra, and Victor on the yeah. upper level, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna. Ca- I'm basically <clears throat> casting cordon of arrows. Okay. Ooh. And nice. Sere is going to. She's she's gonna kind of reflect a little bit and think about the old um, song of the unseen that she <laughs> used to that she used to sing, and I know that she doesn't have access to it. But trying to sort of almost piece together or remember like what she can from that, mm-hmm. almost like it's been transformed somehow. But like I'm gonna cast blur on myself. Okay. Um, that. For those who don't know, your body becomes blurred, shifting, and wavering to all who can see you. For the duration, any creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Okay. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, I just gain that. Okay, sounds good. And then, uh, as you guys say that you're ready, uh, you each watch as uh, the woman standing before you begins to kind of, like, fade away, kind of unravel until she is no longer a Genasi, but a full-blown uh, air elemental Whoa. of a swirling wind. And we're going to go ahead and roll initiative here in sure. honorable combat. All oh, right. And get that set up and we'll be right <laughs> back once again. Like the other ones. So the, before the, before we would have moved up to the upper level, I would have done um, bonus action to do um, temporary hit points for everyone. So everyone gets six. Okay. That's your one use of it for, for, for today. today. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And then I didn't use it last time, did I? No, I think I used it when we were <coughs> the hunters. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You, know. you haven't used it yet. Um, and then let's go ahead and switch over to the battle cam so everybody can see 
the elementals. Uh, ba, 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 ba. On yeah. this side over here, that is the lower level, and then this is the upper level. So white is the upper level. Um, and then, um, que- oh, I did have one clarifying question because sure. in the Cordon of Arrows spell that we have, that's unique to the the stuff. Nice. I said that it's yeah. not just arrows and bolts, but it could also be darts, daggers. Yeah, it can be daggers. So. Yeah. It needs non-magical ammunition, which it consumes. Can I use the ball bearings as ammunition for that, or no? Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do cordon bearers. If you have a problem, I'll just take a bundle of uh, bolts, like crossbow bolts, and toss them to you. Yeah, so if we <laughs> so that's, you can that, use that's probably better. I, I okay. would say ball bearings, you probably couldn't attune to Because if not, well. I've got 20 arrows I could throw you Because I know when I first started, I was thinking about like taking like an, a quiver and some arrows and stuff, but then I you, remember you should them, so. how many, like, probably how many you grab need? like a couple daggers next time you're in oh, town. How, how many do you need? Four. Just four. Okay. Yeah, take, you got okay. four now. Okay, I just wanted to make that clear because I know I was looking through that again and I was like, crap, all the ones I have, if they consume them, he's, he wouldn't, he would never do that to the yeah. daggers he has, so. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab initiatives here. Bolt. Well, let me roll it. 20. Dirty 20. 20. That I didn't Victor. Really <laughs> 11. <laughs> I can't do that too. <laughs> Eve. 9. Saradon. Did you Eight. just tell him no? German? 9. Nine. <laughs> Ezra. 23. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. And then, uh, Scott, do you want to mark them with. Sure. Same as last time. Ah! <laughs> Elementals are barking. <laughs> the winds no howl. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, it's good. Oh, I just got a halo. It's a halo. Side note. See you Penny halo. saw her the first time she saw a tumbleweed and she's like, Dad, what is that? <laughs> it's a tumbleweed. <laughs> It's funny when you see them in real life. You're like, you're from cartoons. So yeah. Which, which <laughs> one is cartoon. one and two? I'm in a desert. Which one doesn't mean? <laughs> this one would have been. She would have been in the middle, middle. Especially in the dead of winter to see that. It's really weird. Yeah. That's uh, number one. That'll be one. This will be two. Okay. All right. So first up is the elemental on the upper level. The L L. The air elemental. And she. The big mama. Yeah. Uh, miss, excuse me, uh, you need to pay attention to me. Go ahead and roll me a diplomacy or a persuasion check. Well, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> In order to win this, we have to 13, break. not too bad. We have to okay. break the wind. Uh, she spins and uh, surges towards Ezra instead. <laughs> 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 uh, so she is going to... Uh, don't get right into your space. Dang it! And then she is going to use her uh, whirlwind. Yeah. So you need to make me a strength saving throw. Oh, things. good thing strength is not good for me. So good thing. when she's there, ah. uh, strength saving throw. Yes, twenty three. Okay, let's see here. Twenty two. Sorry. She's considered right. within thirty feet of me and my cordon, correct? Where is your cordon? Where did you put your cordon? Basically, right here. I'm standing. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, she'll take damage from that as well as she's doing this. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll that. What does that do exactly? It's 1d6 piercing damage. Uh, basically, for the first when, uh, when a creature other than me comes within 30 feet of the ammunition for the first time on a turn or ends it's there, one piece of ammunition flies up to strike it. This creature must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 piercing damage. Okay, so that'll be at the end of its turn. It'll, it'll uh, okay. have to roll that. I'll just pre roll the. So the you are going to take. Uh, damage. I'm swirling the tornado of hatred. Uh, you are going to take nine bludgeoning damage your hair as looks- the wind batters you, but you did make your save, so it doesn't matter. You. Don't worry, your hair looks great. That's it's fair. fine. Thanks for the tips. We just see these golden oh. wisps. He's just throwing his hair There's back. sparkles more. flying off my head. But, <laughs> but it's not. You're constantly casting taste, so it's yeah. always blowing backwards majestically no matter what. <laughs> no, you're, you're in the middle of the Sailor Moon, like, yeah, floating in the air. Yeah, it's my, it's my, like, you made said it outfit. Was a dexter, you said it was <laughs> Yeah, dex save. Yes. Your magical girl. It is 13 as the dex save. Uh, yeah. She does make her save. Yeah. Okay. 
so it doesn't take damage. And okay. the ammunition is just pieces destroyed. Okay. So one of the bolts flies up and just kind of hits this whirlwind and just flings off into one of the walls. And I, I, will, have des- I will have designated th- these guys as ones that won't affect, but okay. any, any of these others, when yeah. it's their turn, they'll take it'll shoot one Okay. Guys. Ezra, it is your turn. You are inside of a whirlwind. Okay. Can I try and get out of it? Yeah, you can definitely move. It's not just straight. Oh, I'm just all. like in its space. Okay. Yep. I'll, I guess I'll take opportunity to attack. I don't care. I need to get away. So okay. so I'm like in its space right now? Yeah. Yeah, so it's technically, so it's technically, so it's technically on top yeah, of me. So I'll just go. So 5, 10, 15, 20, okay, so 25. The attack of opportunity is uh, 19 to hit. Oh, uh, yep, that hits. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. 20 bludgeoning damage. Ooh, I'm going to wow. use my shield, my fighter tattoo. Okay. So you like, you like backpedal out, and then she like brings one of these like wind fists around, and you just bring your <laughs> arms together and like <coughs> repel you uh, the rest of the way backwards. Use three charges of that. So that reduces uh, 10 damage of that. Okay. So how much was it? 10 that? total after that. 10 total. Okay. Yep. Ouch. Okay. Um, and then I will have Ixburn fly in there. And give me some advantage here. <laughs> 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 what have I done? Feathers everywhere. Oh, I should I should point out that uh, the red squares <coughs> will take you the fifty feet into the air to the next level. The purple squares will take you down fifty oh. feet to the other level. But you know, if you're on the top level, the red square does nothing. The red square does not. Okay. okay. They're just teleporting. That's just the same with the they're the they're the portal. Which yeah. sharpshooter? Uh, orange sharp shooter. and blue, right? Ouch. Yeah. That's gonna be. No, only a 10 to hit. 10 will miss. One okay. of the arrows just again. And then I'll take another shot without damage. Um, a 27 to hit. 27 will hit. Okay. And that was with or without that sharpshooter? That was without sharpshooter. Okay. Um, that's the wrong dice. Where did it go? Oh, that's great. That's not the right That's the right dice. Um, Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> that, that, was, that was 12. Me. What I was. 12 damage. Oh, oh damage. Um, and That's I'll do um, one of my arcane shots. Um, and I'm going to do grasping arrow. I don't, okay. I don't know if it'll work. It doesn't say that it won't. A creature hit by the arrow takes an extra 2d6 poison damage. Speed is reduced by 10, and it takes 2d6 slashing the first time on each turn it moves one feet or more. Did you, did, what was the first damage type they take? The um, extra... Poison. The poison. poison. Yeah. So that doesn't affect it. Okay. Um, so I won't. Roll don't don't roll the damage for that. But there is like this like tangle inside of it, and it does seem to be like gumming up the uh, works, as it were. <laughs> so in addition, then with that, I want to use my bonus action okay. to use my new fighter initiative thing. Okay. And push it. So it needs to make a strength save. Okay. Of sixteen is the DC on that, and it doesn't. Uh, you don't need to be within five feet of it or anything. Nope. Like that. Just a weapon. Okay. Just a weapon attack. Does that require your bonus action? It does, because I'm using my my superiority dice for it. I thought it was just. So it, it adds six. To it. I thought it was uh, just when you made a weapon. What was the total that they need? Sixteen. They fail. Okay, so they're gonna take four more damage. Okay. Uh, force damage, and then it's gonna push them up to fifteen feet. So okay. I'll just I'm just gonna push them there, I guess. All right. Um, but that should trigger the the two d six slashing damage. That does. Yep. Limit. Okay. Cool. As you you kind of like you fire the arrow and you give it just a little bit extra magic, and as the arrow hits and kind of tingles it up, that kind of back magic, which you may have picked up from Saradon when she did her little sonic boom against uh, right. Gavin yes. or not Gavin but uh, uh, Turtle Blast. Yeah. Uh, I watched that. Slams I was like, hey, how should I do that? Yeah. yeah so it, what it was doesn't the require a bonus action. It doesn't. Mm-mm. Just oh. when you when you hit him with a weapon, attack. I just can just do it Spend once. That's what yeah. I can only do it once. Yeah. Once per short rest. So that's done. What was the damage? Uh, six. Six. six um, slashing damage. Okay. Nice. And Perfect. that is my turn. Alrighty. Bolt. Yeah. Um, I am going to attempt to cast web. Okay. See if I can uh, somehow entangle this. I know it's air elemental, but they usually are sort of solid. So just right there. And uh, what what is Webb's effect specifically? Uh, so it is um, twenty foot cube. <laughs> no, 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 like, it's, it's well, it's, it's already obscure the area. Kind of entangled. So I don't know if you're doing it for like advantage reasons. But I want to just like lock it in place, gotcha. so I can't move away if, if possible. Uh, each creature that starts its turn in the web or that enters them during its turn must make a deck saving throw. 
On a failed save, the creature is restrained for as long as it remains in the webs or until it breaks okay. free. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and just lay that down and on its turn, you don't find out what goes on. So restrained speed is zero. Mm-hmm. So you, again, you kind of pull one of those little yep. uh, grenades that you have out with the wire. And it's, in it. it's infused with magic, so it's not just yeah. thing, but, mm-hmm. but yeah, it kind of like bursts and attaches to the ground and the wall and basically just yeah. try to create a massive uh, tangled stuff there. Yeah, we'll see what that does on that elemental next turn. Uh, the next is one of the minor stewards, uh, number two. Which one is number two? Ooh. Okay. Hello there. Oh no, I moved right in. <laughs> like, run away! Uh, so, again, this is kind of like just this kind of like sparking swirl of uh, lightning mini tornado. And it moves towards you and it's going to make an attack against you, which is a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Does that trigger your cord and thing or is it only this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would trigger. Uh, technically, but it has to be when it right. ends its turn. At the end of its turn. Yeah. So, it's when it's the same as the daggers, is when yeah. a creature on a turn 30 feet away. enters the space for the first time or it ends its turn. Ends its turn there. 30 feet away. So, it's from it's, feet. it's 40 from you right now. This is within. Uh, yeah, it's within 30 feet of the ammunition. Well, so technically it started there, right? Yeah, yeah so but it, it has to end its turn. It has turn. to end there, yeah. okay. So it's well, but, it, but, it, but so to be specific, and this is where it gets into debate, same thing with the... Uh, where did you put the ammunition, I guess? It's on his square. The cloud there is right here. Or, sorry, the cordon of arrows I was just doing. Yeah, right here. Just oh, okay, so it's still... So it started uh, 35, there. 35, I think. But it says, there. until so the spell ends, whenever a creature other than you comes within 30 feet of the ammunition for the first time on a turn, not its turn, or yeah. ends its turn there, one piece of ammunition flies up to strike. So mm-hmm. it's just outside, yeah. I think. Yeah, it left. 15, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, yeah, so yep. it's just out of the range. Yep. Uh, so you're gonna take, Ezra, you're gonna take four bludgeoning damage and five lightning damage. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and then you need to make me a constitution saving throw, please. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, on, that's 26. 26, you are good on that. Okay, and that is its turn. Victor, wow, it's like everybody up there first. Don't worry, uh, you guys are just like bowing to each other. Like still. Waiting. Um, is it one? Is it going on? Do we start yet? Okay, my turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like the Phantom Menace scene. You're waiting behind those red things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meditating. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you hear sounds of battle, you're like, ah. Uh, Victor. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and move. So I'll go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, back thirty. We want to put one of your knives down for that cordon of arrows, by the way. That was fine. Just so we can have a good marker for it. Right. And then I am not within five feet of it, so but I'll just down is. use my. You could lots of things. You uh, could I'll, still throw, get, I'll uh, throw. I'll throw. I'll throw my dagger at him. I'm going to use the uh, cinder hearth, and that will be with. If I hit, it will have that one d six lightning. Okay. So. Natural 20. Natural 20. Nice. So that's going to be a total of 8. <coughs> and your 12, you need to do 8, your... 9, 10. So that'd be 20 total damage plus the 46. For sneak. For sneak. Which is doubled. Which is doubled. So well, that's 15. Nice. Plus, so that's 20. So that's 35 plus what's 46 max. 24. 24, so that's going to be. I um, lost myself now. Uh, 24, and what? It, so it's, it would have been 24 plus just your sneak attack dice roll. It's just the roll. So the roll is 15, so that's going to be 20, 30, 39. 39. 9. And then your normal attack. And then the other attack. normal attack, which was we were sitting at the. Did you want to. That, this is where we got out of Can you do this from range? Is that what you're doing? What are you doing? Huh? Yeah, what, what, he's doing that for me. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it for me. Sure. Yep. Yeah. And we also have, if you want me to keep going, tell me after when I stop. <laughs> You're, you've destroyed it. The this fire point. is also. <laughs> <laughs> um, at which point it does explode in a blast of lightning. So each creature within 10 feet of it no. must make a uh, dexterity saving throw. So Victor and Ezra. Oh. Natural order. <laughs> I need to check uh, your dice. 18. <laughs> the ones that you guys provided. 18, so you're both good, so you're only going to take half damage. So just take three lightning damage. Lightning damage. As this thing just explodes. Watch out, they blow up. <laughs> good to know. Anything else, Victor? Uh, I think that's everything. 
for my turn. Okay. Then uh, the other ele air elemental goes. The big one? This one? Yep. Okay. And uh, she is going to just surge forward into both of your space. Sweet. She's a large creature. And uh, try and pummel the pair of you. Hey, hey, come on. Personal that space. <laughs> so I need a strength saving throw from both of you, please. Okay. And you get your bonus plus four because you're paladinness. Your oh, paladinness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm bless. Use inspiration. Yeah. And bless for. Yeah. Oh, oh, 17 plus you? 4, you said? I don't think you failed. For what? Uh, 17 plus 4 for a strength saving throw. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You said I had a plus 4. Yeah, from your aura. Uh, plus 5, actually. She raised her charisma. Oh. <laughs> You're even more, like, beautiful now. <laughs> Just like, so pretty. <laughs> plus strength saving. Oh, 15. I assume 15. I make okay. it. Yes, Nine yeah. You both, you both make whatever. it, so you're just going to take half damage on this. Math is hard. Six, 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 six bludgeoning damage. Okay. Six. Are you Sean Connery? Yes, six. I am Sean Connery. And it is in your square. I like my day yeah. shaking. Okay. You're going to stir your nice 20. <laughs> and that is can I, turn. Okay, sorry. Can I use interception on, on that? Mm -mm, it's okay, on it's just on attack. Okay, and it was six damage? Yep. Okay, thanks. And it is Eve's turn next. Yay. Yes! Okay. Should we get the big one first or the little ones? Perhaps the big one. It's right here. Probably the big one. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> you Sorry. want to die. It's not like... Now she's got beat but does it mean, Yes. Yeah, I mean, she's an air elemental. Now she's not a genasi. Okay. That doesn't I'm mean I'm going to like enjoy the common banter about it. <laughs> the snake hole thing. What did you guys call it? Snake hole. Snake, snake, snake hole. hole. I think it would the... be snake holes. Uh -huh. Is it primordial? Really bad. What is it, what's 12. The air, air elemental language. Aran. Primordial, I think. Aran. Yeah. Aran. Aran. Oh, same uh, 12 will miss. Second attack is 20. 20 will hit. So that is 5 plus uh, 10. 15. 15 total. And I mean, the, the so 10 of that was the radiant damage. Okay. Just so you know. Okay, perfect. 5 was bludgeoning. And it's all magical. Yes. Okay. All perfect. right. Anything else that you'd like to do? Um. Or then I guess we'll have Darian, Darian uh, just do a. He could back up and charge. Let's do it. He'll back up and charge. I don't think Darian could fit through the. Uh, <laughs> the holes. He'll be like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yes. Heave! Oh. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. So, oh. Oh, bother. <laughs> oh, oh, bother. <laughs> you missed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he just, you you just start like swinging your mace around inside this whirlwind, like trying to do like a counter whirlwind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, clockwise. Clockwise. It looks, yeah, it's it looks going like. Counter -counter. Are we in Australia? <laughs> Which way does yeah. it? <laughs> and then uh, Darian just kind of like tries to like run his horns through the currents of wind, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, doing too much in that regard. At least it's not the icker. <laughs> and then Sarah. Okay. She'll take some swings. Mm. swings I'm going to use swings, my inspiration right? there. Uh, that's better. <coughs> so that's a 24 to hit. 24 will hit. Okay. Four. Um, 15 damage. 15? Five of that's fire, if it okay. matters. Okay. Um, and then second attack is a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. Four. Um, 11 damage. For 11, okay. And then... <coughs> I got a clean. I use D10s for my rolls for damage. Yeah. Next okay. time. I'm sorry. I'll get myself All an epic taxes next time. Oh, great. I would like, in fact, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to blow a um, smite. Ooh, okay. Just, just a first level smite on that last hit. 
Okay. Um, so an extra 2d8? Yeah. Five. Extra five. Okay. Um, let me mark that. And then, let's see, final attack with the not but action. 23 to hit. 23 will hit. Four. Um, nine. Okay. Just keep telling them no. Nine. 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 And oh, by the way, we're going dead. to try and kill we're... our guy before you guys kill yours. <laughs> um, good luck. Yeah. It's a race. Okay. I got this. Um, so you you kind of pick up on what Eve is doing with the uh, kind of the counterclockwise, and you just start like <clears throat> twirling your blade around overhead, slicing into uh, chunks of it. You can see that magic of the blade just kind of slicing through, um, and yeah, you've done some damage. Cool. Okay. Good work, Sari. And then uh, number three, <clears throat> steward three goes, and it's going to come charging forward. It's they can speed. move. 30. 25. Okay. It can get to me. Perfect. Does it have disadvantage since they're technically inside the whirlwind right now? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's not but it has disadvantage because I have blur. No. So if oh, it's making right. attacks yeah. against you. It is making an attack against you. So it is a with disadvantage 21. Yes. Son of a... um, I'm going to blow shield. Okay. So it misses. Okay. So you, you're kind of twirling around all of a sudden this kind of... What does your shield look like specifically? Because this is all new magic for yeah, Sari. That's a good question. Um, Pass. Come back to me. <laughs> yeah, let me think about it for a second. Yeah, I'll go ahead and let you think don't, about that. Don't make your first choice, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I called it green. the unshielder. <laughs> uh, number four. Where is number four? Make is it... Pink. Make it big. Okay. Make it so big. that one is it's a big swirl of uh, music bars attack. around you. <laughs> it's just a big old shuffle. Every time they hit, it makes notes. But that's a sound seven. Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, bing bong. Number one is going to move towards Volt. Ah. And that's a 15 to hit. That misses. Okay, so it just kind of tries to like spark you from behind. But it's like uh, R2-D2 sparks. It's, it's not doing too much. Yeah, that tickles. <laughs> Uh, at the top of the round, you both see kind of this green glow come from your respective elemental. Okay. And you see that, like, air current, like, all the air currents kind of, like, converge and flow. And it seems that this glow is coming and connecting both of them together. And uh, they seem a little revitalized, depending on which side you're on. <sighs> like they're transferring life back and forth. Yep. Not, not like they're healing like a troll would. Uh, no, it, it looks like healing. Sorry. Okay. Like okay. Yep. Wait, no, that's that's not how I do it. That's player knowledge, I guess. Maybe Bolt will figure it out. <laughs> I, I wish they would bring their dog. Yeah, yeah it's really cold out. Yep. Yeah. All Hopefully right, and then so that one goes. It it. Is immune to being restrained, so okay. it is just going to slip through I your wires. As much. Uh, I'm just going to try and recharge its. It stays there. Oh, yeah. So it just came off. Is it moving? Yeah. It's going to take two six. Take damage. Oh, again. Where's where it going? It can. I mean, so it can use its action to remove the thing. It's a DC 11 strength check. Okay. So it can use its action to do that, but it's its action, or it can take two d six. It'll just take two d six okay. and move towards Bolt. So that's going to be six more slashing damage. Six more slashing damage. Right up next to me or into the uh, Right up next to you for, for <clears throat> this. And it is just going to make a pair of slam attacks against you. The highest of which is a 17. Both of them are lower than my AC. Yeah, so. you just bring your shield around, deflect them, and then it is Ezra's turn. All right. Does it, does it have a time limit on it at all, or is it just... It's just until it breaks it, basically. Wow. I think it... Let me just make sure there's not like a minute. a minute. I think it's a minute. Yeah, let me yeah. just double check. Ten rounds. Um, actions. Uh, <coughs> aspen area. One minute. Yep. <coughs> or, or if it, okay. it or another creature can use their action to do a uh, athletics check of eleven to break it because yep. my intelligence sucks. Okay. Um, I will have Ixburn fly <laughs> in there again. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna come out with the, the no feathers it's on. Just like, it's like sharpshooter yes. action. <laughs> 
Um, They'll look more like Errol than Hedwig after. <laughs> yes. That's going to be... Wait, I actually uh, imagine him like Archimedes five, from so oh, yeah. Clash of the Titans. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Flash of the, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ar- Ar- there's Clash there is a golden mechanical owl in yeah. Clash of the Titans called Archimedes. Oh, is yeah. it? I'm um, thinking of 19? Sword and Stone. That was the movie. previous okay. one that I made him. Yeah, this one is Archimedes from Sword and Stone. Yes, is what you mean. Just kind of sassy. Yep. The best wizard duel ever. Mm-hmm. And twenty-two. Yeah. Twenty-two damage. <laughs> Shoot it again. Nice. Sharpshooter active. Um, that's going to be a 19 again. 19 will hit. For 24 damage. 24. Yes. Okay. That's Actually, I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to do um, second wind and heal myself a little bit here. Okay. Because I'm kind of hurt. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And then it is Bolt's turn. Let's fight your levels. I'm just going to give it the old one, oh, two. That's right. Just punch your fist against the wind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Punch hard enough and stop, and it does it because it's uh, thunder damage. Yep. Um, Twenty-four. Twenty-four will hit. I wasn't okay. missing. I wasn't missing any hit points. Okay. I just lost my temporary hit points. That was. Um, that will be twelve thunder damage. Twelve thunder damage. Yeah, it has disadvantage on all attacks other than. Okay, perfect. Uh, it does seem it does seem a little resistant to the thunder damage, uh, as it probably expected from an air elemental. But yep. uh, yeah, I figured. But okay, so that's your first attack. Mm-hmm. And then I will do it again on the elemental again. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, actually, I will turn around and, and hit a little one. Okay. Um, that one is a twenty-four also. And that's number one, right? Yep, correct. That'll hit. Uh, that is 13 thunder damage. It's the same debuff on it, basically. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else you'd like to do? Nope, that's it. You're good where you are? Yep. And your web, is your web concentration? Uh, it is, yes. Okay, not that it matters. Right. Uh, Victor. And it ends its turn. Yeah. In- yeah. yeah, so the air elemental did end his turn and within so 30. They're going to take. Are they need to do a deck save? Of, both, both of them, them are in okay. there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Solid. So 13 solid. on the deck save. They're not solid. That's I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the little one did not make its deck save, and the air elemental did not make her deck save. All right. So that's four for the first, one for the second for the damage. Mm-hmm. And there's one. Mm-hmm. And then it's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to. Let's get this thing here. I'm, I guess I'm gonna try and get closer. I'm not gonna get that close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get buffeted. So uh, and then I'm gonna throw. Um, <clears throat> No, it's not close enough that would hit you. So I'm just going to throw my dagger. I'm just going to throw uh, Cinder Hearth. Or you could th- you could whatever you're doing. You could throw it over on this side. Well, the thing is, the splat. The whole reason for that would be the splash damage. For oh, the ice, the ice, the knife. ice knife. Yeah. And I'd want to hit both of them, but he's too far away. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just so going to throw Cinder Hearth. I have resistance to damage, so. Just I can throw it a bolt. But does Victor? No, yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just going to attack with the, with that one. Okay. And so that's uh, that's seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, one d four plus eight, and he's within. I'm hitting the big one. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's going to be forty six as well. So that's going to be eleven twenty two damage total. Okay. Yeah. You slice right through it. The air currents kind of disperse, and you see kind of that elemental core. The, the, you, the last one that you got was an ember core. This one is a tempest core, and it's just kind of sitting there floating. You can kind of see that same green glow around it, mm-hmm. and kind of floating above it, uh, surrounded in that same green glow, is half of the rune stone. So is it? So is it gone? Is it basically gone off the map it's, for it's now? It's gone off the map. <laughs> we win. <laughs> Three against two. You have Darian. No, he doesn't count. <laughs> One you know how little, really I, how doesn't. little damage I do. <laughs> I don't count. Yeah. Uh, anything? Both not even a human. That's everything. Five or something. <laughs> it's 
Oh, I'm not alive. A real person. <laughs> a real person. Uh, the air elemental below is going to... Ah, they recharge their ability, so they're just going to try and batter you two again. Give me okay. another strength saving throw. To be battered. Battered deep fry. Yeah, true. <laughs> For 20. Oh like this is like beer batter fries. Strength, you said? Mm, yes. 18. 18? You're good. So uh, you'll each take 7 bludgeoning damage. Only bludgeoning. Okay. And then Eve. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, You're like Thor now. A 17. <laughs> 17 will hit. <laughs> No now, since the I'm using the correct oh, dice. It's perfect. Since it has holes in it, and you know how, like, when you uh, blow across the bottle so. uh, rim, mm -hmm. it makes noise. Does hers make noise when yeah. it swings through you, the? Um, you remember the wind? You remember <laughs> in Power Rangers that one late the movie, the one lady that has like the the batons that she twirls and they make that sound. Uh, I don't. There's like one person in the comments that's like that's gonna be like I remember that. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. 14 damage. Second attack <coughs> is higher. Okay. Four. And 16. 16. Okay. And then Darian. And then Darian will try the same thing. Back up and... Well, no, he won't. Because if he backs up, then he'll do the attack. So he'll just... He'll just... Regular attacks. Uh, bite them with his rabbit teeth. Kick. kick. It's not called a regular, it's called a grande attack, actually. <laughs> a venti attack. Uh, <laughs> that is, is attack. Uh, 12. 12 will miss. Okay. Good try, Darian. Good try, Darian. I yelped down. Don't worry, Darian, we believe in you. <laughs> he perks up a little bit. He's inside it. Sir, okay. Yep. That's a 25 to hit. The 25 will hit. Dice down. Dice down, guys. 18 damage. 18. Second attack is a 21 to hit. 21 will hit. For 14 damage. 14. And the non butt butt action. The tailbone attack. The tail oh my <laughs> gosh. I seriously rolled snake eyes. Snake oh. A one on the d20 and oh. a one on the d4. Ooh. Ouch. Isn't the that, dice doesn't that mean you spunking. get a roll again? Oh, wait, that's my not one. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, or if you're attack, just brutal weapon, right? Yeah. 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 Or, or is it brutal weapons? Uh, uh, great brutal. weapon. Great weapon. Yeah. Well, oh, half well, I guess so. <clears throat> Halfling. Yeah, it used to be brutal. Yeah, yeah. halfling. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, so you managed to like slice. You guys have sliced this up pretty good. Uh, it is. A, a, like a, just kind of like a gentle breeze at this point almost, but it is still swirling around you. It's like a nice fart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the awesome third. Yeah. I've never. I don't know. No. You ever had a stomach ache and then? Yeah. There are Those usually things. end in much worse scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> Comment so. below if you've had a nice fart before. <laughs> Please no. don't. <laughs> no, unless you tell us the whole story. <laughs> Even then. <laughs> so that was a natural one against Saradon for the Has attack. Verify so that's a miss. At least one person. Um, and yes, that was with disadvantage. <laughs> this is the, the other roll was a two. The curse so, two yeah. episode. Um, <laughs> and then against Eve, it's a seventeen to hit. That'll miss. Okay. And then it's only natural if we're in a wind temple. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Why and then breaking, one, breaking the wind yeah. temple. Nineteen against Bolt. That misses. Okay. Uh, and then we get to the top of the next round, and that green energy kind of starts flowing again, and the one up top reforms. You can't say that. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've still won. Uh, and you can see it's like barely holding itself together as it reforms around the core. Okay. And then it's its turn. It is going to just... Uh, it's going to shift over one and try to pummel Victor. And it still has disadvantage because I'm considering it still. I was gonna, I was gonna ask if it still did. So that is a an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. With disadvantage. Yep. Bing bong, bing bong. 18 bludgeoning damage. Ow. 
And then the second attack. And then I want to. I'm trying to remember. That's. I'm going to use my dodge thing. Uh, I can yeah, it's uh, the it's evasion. the more you take. I'm gonna have the damage, yeah. yeah okay, the dodge is the one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Evasion is the one. The evasion is the one for Dex. Yeah, Dex. And then the second attack so, against sorry, you. Damage was much, how much? It was uh, 18. So half of that's right. Yeah. And then the second attack against you is going to be a 19 to hit. Yeah. You put this in. Yes. Hey. I rolled. I rolled. Hey. Uh, I rolled the same number on those. So that one is only going to be eight. Okay. Bludgeoning. Okay. I'm rolling really good on their damage tonight. Oh! Extra four bludgeoning damage for the epic. Thanks, Tori. I somehow feel like, <laughs> somehow feel like this was <laughs> easy to kill. Fix her. See if I die. It's no problem. And your ghost will haunt her for. Uh, Ezra. Just yeah, karma. Right? Just um, karma for killing me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will have Ixburn help me out here and take a shot. He's going to go again. <laughs> Come out with a little less feathers. It's a little banjo because we're going on <laughs> yeah. here. Oh, dang it. That was almost a crit. Okay, so that's going to be. Tw- uh, that, sorry, that was with Sharpshot. With, with Bless, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't need it. Um, so that's going to be 24. Oh, with the look of that, 24 I don't need the Bless. <laughs> I don't need no Blessings. You hear that? You can take the Bless for yourself next time. Um, <laughs> no, I, I normally do need it, though. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop looking at me. Okay, so that's going to be 12, 22. Okay, that's enough to take it out again. Okay, and then I'll go... Destroy the core. I feel like Bolt has I'm going to pop down there. Okay. And I'll take my other shot at the... Other as, as you're coming down, like yeah. <laughs> wind, wind blowing your hair even better than usual. I'm going to add an epic dice just to really make sure that I hit. This is a sharpshooter. Okay. Can I use it to hit, or is it only? For yeah, you can use it. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you can have blast two. <laughs> well, I no, I just want to make sure. Because uh, with sharpshooter, you never know. Okay, so that's going to be uh, eight. That's fourteen to hit. Fourteen is not. Enough. Dang it! See, told you. Okay, there's that one. Yeah. And then I'll just land. But I will use my bonus action to have curving arrow. Uh, swing oh, it over nice. to number four. Okay. Um, I gotta remember if I have to roll for that. Uh, yeah, you just roll the attack again. Yeah, okay. On the <laughs> target. Oh my gosh. Um, so that's gonna be 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Okay. For 8 damage. 8 damage. So because of the way that the wind is going, it kind of looks like you just meant to hit that yeah. all along. <laughs> it like swings around the other I one. Planned the planned for the whirlwind. Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay. On the way down, you're like, eh. I meant that. <laughs> Bolt, your turn. <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn around and hit number one. Try okay. to hit number one. Uh, 17 plus 8. Yeah, that'll hit. For 6 damage. That's enough. 6 thunder damage. That's enough. This one is not actually resistant to thunder. Okay. Uh, it will force you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Or a constitution saving Which I can also use plus four. Nope, dexterity. Sorry, my bad. Dex? Yep. Oh, that's a natural 20 plus one plus one. That's 22. Okay, you'll just take half damage. So just take three lightning damage, sir. Just get a little extra, a little extra juice. Mm-hmm. So that one is gone. Nice. And you still have one more attack. Um, I'm gonna try to hit the orb. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. You just slam your fist into it, and it kind of just like repels you backwards a little bit. Okay. Uh, that swirl is still happening around it. it doesn't look like hitting it. I didn't like transfer some of the damage down. No. To the bottom. Darn. Throw nope. it in your bag of holding. And if it reforms, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, can I pick it up? Would that uh, be no. Like every any time you try to get close to it, there's oh, like it buffs strong oh, okay. versions buffing right. you away. Yep. Okay, Victor. I remember them saying something about they both have to die at the same time. You guys are going too slow. I'm come helping. <laughs> I'll get on that and come down over here. Wee. Come spiraling down like like a true knife dancer. Like uh, <laughs> yeah, you get all the knives. <laughs> I'm not going to use knives, but I'll throw my ice knife. You're like a patron saint. Okay. You're like doing the... Yeah. Like so, like so keep in mind, nice it's right cards. on top of them still, technically. Yeah. So oh. it will hit, hit all the enemies, but it will also hit all of the allies, including Darian. 
He was going to do it anyway until you said including do Darian. We <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will use... I know how to pluck the heartstrings. <laughs> It's can I, can I, for how, how, how easy is <laughs> it to see through this? How, what, how opaque is this creature? Mm. Enough that you can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not like, Darian, you let them die. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, okay. you can see I'll everybody. Just, I mean... How opaque is this creature? And other random questions. <laughs> I'm what really, does this, what does this sound smell, smell like? like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I hope you guys are really good at dodging things. I snipe. Okay. Yep, I snipe. All right. So, what happens first? So, ice knife is going to I uh, make a ranged spell attack. So we got. I'm gonna go and do uh, inspiration on that. Okay. Because a two is definitely not gonna four. What, what's the total? Dang it, that's a one. No, that's not gonna happen. But it will do the splash damage. So Apparently, we are very good at dodging things. <laughs> I'm just not good at aiming. It's like flying through it's the air all windy. Weird. Yeah, so the knife kind of like goes into the, the mist and just kind of like starts spiraling around a little bit. And then... Aha, I got you! Explodes. <laughs> and I'm yeah. explode it. Now everybody that makes a deck save, it's a 13, so it's not that high. And whoever failed will take 2d6 full damage. <laughs> I made it. Let me see what Darian gets. He, both Darian and Eve. Succeeded. I can't fail. Uh, <laughs> I told you, that's perfect. <laughs> the elemental succeeded, the other two did not. Seven. So Seven. The two that did not, and it's okay. cold damage specifically. And that is uh, not half to the people that succeeded. Three and four, right? No. Most, most men are pretty. Three and four, yep. Three and four. Pretty lackadaisical. Right. Three and four. Comes damage. Okay. Everybody's still alive, so we'll move on. All right, you're all alive. Good job. Way to dodge. To the elemental. She is going to try and recharge her thing. She does, so she's just going to try and bludgeon you guys in that storm again. So, strength yeah, saving throws, please. One of these. Um, 23 plus... 21. Uh, so, only seven bludgeoning damage after the halving for you two. The halving. The halving. The halving. <laughs> and then it is Eve's turn. Right. So the snake holes. Using the snake hole again. <laughs> the snake holes. The snake holes. <laughs> That's twenty one to hit. The snake holes. You got me long sword and me long snake holes. Sorry. If I throw my head back in laughter, I have to provide <laughs> the epic die. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's oh, there's the, the one back. <laughs> That's twenty. 20 damage? Did you just roll double eights? No, one of nice. those is a six. Oh, still. Hey, yeah, you give one final swing and slam into, like, you You see that core just slightly phasing in and out, and you slam right into it, and there's this burst, and both cores uh, that were around them fades, and they just drop to the ground. And the runes are half the rune, right? Yep, half the rune kind of clatters off to the side. Of the okay, cool. And I'll just turn around and for me a second attack. I'll go after... Number four. Okay. And that is a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Four. Um, 13. 13, yeah. And then you just kind of continue the momentum, slam right into that one, uh, crack it, disperse the energy, and it's going to explode. So I need a deck save from Eve, Darian, and Victor, please. All right. And uh, Victor, you get plus five because of her war. Okay. Uh, you said deck save? Yes. <clears throat> so that's an 18 for Eve. Okay, that's a save. 29. That's a save. Darian fell. He rolled a one. Okay, Darian. so Darian takes 10 lightning damage. <laughs> uh, and then you each take five. Stop dying. I want to use my dodgy dodge. My, not my uncanny dodge, but my... Uh, it is uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Um, five? Or the yeah. evasion. No, I'm talking evasion. about the other one. Yeah, evasion. evasion. Yeah. That oh. means if you make your deck save, you take no... So that's damage. that's not something you have to trigger, by the way. That's just all the time. It just happens. Oh, that yeah. one's... Yep. That one, well, because one of you either the, take one, half the one's a reaction. Take none. One's yeah. a reaction. So uncanny dodge is the reaction that reduces it by half. 
evasion means that if you succeed, you take no damage. If you fail, you take half damage. Because you're correct. super dodgy. Yeah, correct. You know how to weave through lightning. He's very dodgy. He's a very dodgy super character. Dodgy. Yeah. All right. Is blind. Is blind. Blind. So lightning hits. I just pull a knife out. He's barely <laughs> hanging in there. Okay. His hair is all frizzy from the lightning. He's like, yeah, he's, he's static. So it's, it's arcing like a Jacob's ladder between his antlers. <laughs> okay, uh, sir, on the two turns. Uh, oh, Darian wow. didn't take a turn, by the way. Oh, Darian can take oh, his turn. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yes. We'll just have him um, charge forward. Uh, charge. Do so you want to have him back up? Yep. Okay. I thought it was only 10 feet. Uh, oh, I thought it needed to be 20. It's twenty. Oh, it's twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. been it's been two weeks. I know. Um. It's been so that is a nineteen to hit. Yes, that will hit. Okay. Oh, that's Give me that uh, Four, six, seven. Those are the boom anime babes. Mm-hmm. Seven. Oh, plus. Mm-hmm. Um. My brain hurts. <laughs> Ten. Well, it has been two weeks. Ten total yeah. damage. Ten total damage. Yeah. Is he okay. still there? He is still. So up. then he needs to make a strength saving throw. Uh, or become prone. Mm-hmm. He is immune to being prone. No. Well. We'll just go ahead and uh, move. Okay. He just falls down and just does a little like slow twirl in the air. Yeah. Just like so he's got <laughs> twenty-eight hit. Twenty-eight will hit. Whoa, for damage, where'd my... There it is. So that's for 12 damage. 12 damage is enough, okay. which means I need a dexterity saving throw from Eve, Ceradon, and Darian. Uh, 20. So 20 for Eve, and... Um... Fourteen per Darian. Okay, so everybody succeeds. You only take uh, four lightning damage. Darian Darian! is gone. (laughs) And I was gonna heal him with my unicorn. Does that count as an attack? Can you intercept? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, Yeah, but that last one clatters to the ground. You guys, the wind is still kind of flowing in here, so you can still get up and down. Uh, you do notice that the little ones also dropped smaller cores. Oh. Um, so check them out. And just as a reminder, cores can you can use them to you can bring back the elemental if you have somebody who can perform the ritual like you've done before. Uh, the smaller ones are more what you've seen what you saw from Embaris, so it's more of a minor elemental core. And then these other ones seem larger, like they would take more. Uh, more of a ritual in order to do that. They, they did they ask us to destroy the cores. Which brings me to my next point. Uh, you can basically use them as airship fuel for standard airships because you, you can convert them into solarium so you can sell them off. It basically destroys the core and gives you solarium out of it. We're not just going to hear the whispers in the wind of use fuel. So but that would be a way to destroy it so and get you a little bit of money. Yeah. Would we need to like take that somewhere special to be able to do that. Probably, probably a major city. Yeah, you would just sell it off in okay. like a an air, any, anywhere with like an airship port would probably. Buy. They did want to leave, so as long as we carry them out, oh, they oh, left. Hopefully, they won't mind sort of hanging around. For I'll a gather few days. the three from up here, the two small and the big one, and then the room. Really have to go down. Recycle. <laughs> so, well, is there anything else up on this level? Uh, no, just kind of wind chimes. Okay. Yeah. You know, you bring back hexes. Nobody. So you guys have uh, another rune stone. You bring the two pieces close together, and they just kind of seal up magically. Um, Does anybody speak Arn, by the way? Nope. Uh, primordial. Yeah. That would be Earth. Uh, Terran. Did you go to the Earth Temple. Coming up. <laughs> Terran. Terran? Terran's the Earth Oh, yeah, Terran would be the Earth. Primordial, I guess, would be shared by uh, like certain common elementals. It's, elemental it's sort language. of like ancient yeah. elemental language, yeah. Sort of like the common for it. Yeah. Okay. Good work, everyone. I'm gonna really get getting we tired of all of this static electricity. Prestidigitation, my hair back tomorrow. I'll gather up, I'll gather up, up the rest of the cores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is a perfect use. Okay, so you got two, uh, two large cores. Tempest cores uh-huh. and then uh, four minor Tempest cores. And you probably would have more knowledge about what those would be worth. So I'll just tell you what they're worth right now. 
Space fuel. Space fuel. About 50 gold a piece for the smaller ones. Okay. And then 300 gold each for Ooh. the larger ones. Okay. Not bad. Not too shabby. I mean, it's not what it's we're going to get. It's not the 100,000 gold when we come <laughs> back. Yeah. If you come back, let's be honest here. You're just going to keep us doing adventures in the next <laughs> band and never let us come yep. back. <laughs> Congratulations, here's the new Here's the uh, new An area campaign. is only the broken expanse. There's yep. no way back. And All right. Explode. Or the town's destroyed when we get back. So are we continuing <laughs> on or are we taking yes. the ledger book is gone? Oh, he well. probably committed suicide. <laughs> I mean, next story I'm, arc, find I'm, the ledger. I'm feeling a little singed. Mm, oh, yes. Um... Work. We should, we, could, we, could, we could rest. I could take a rest. We should, okay. we should save those resources. Okay. I, think I need. Okay. Yes. All my things. A rest. I can fix within an hour. All my special stuff. All your special stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I kind of want to, you know, take an hour. Okay. Well, let's go back to the arch. Put this sucker in there and take another rest. Sounds good. Okay. And then like go back the other way. <laughs> we go, go the other way. way. I mean, we need to get our steps in. You said it was only day. a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so it's a, it's about uh, probably about ten minutes back to the archway. You guys can put that second one in again. It's the same thing. As soon as you put it in, there's kind of just like this clunk. It seals itself in a place, but nothing else happens at this time. Okay, remind me how with my Smuggle Beast. Doesn't it just do max healing? Uh, it gives you an extra 1d6, but it's only once per day. When you okay. Rest, oh, so. um, yeah. Really. <laughs> you don't have a snow. Uh, uh, max it would be the um, vitality. Oh, the life. that's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So everybody take a quick, short rest. Uh, you at home, go get a sandwich. Get me a sandwich, too, please. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to make me a sandwich. I want my saying, hand I sandwich. Like a sandwich. Don't leave us pause too long because what? we're really weird. Salami, <laughs> mozzarella, nice. tomato, Ugh. pepper. Ruined it. Olive oil. But you never had a bread sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> never hear salami. You guys ever watch the Aladdin with uh, Gotta get Bugs back Bunny? Couple. Salami, salami, salami. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then he makes, the, he makes the staircase to come out or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's one of those older Looney Tunes that, uh, that you're kind of like... Should I really be laughing at this right. these days? Yeah. <laughs> also laugh. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. All right, uh, and then <laughs> God, I can't believe I have to ask this question. Which way are we heading? <laughs> the well, other way. And west <laughs> and, south. and south. West and south. Let's go to east. East. Well, we have to go around one of the two. There's only two directions to go because yeah. the donut. Well, that's that's what. Yeah, she said go to the east one, not the north one, right? Yep. There's only east, east or north. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you guys go back past the southern one. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Or are you going around <laughs> past the north one to the east one? <laughs> <level? laughs> well, probably shorter to go south. Yeah. Cass, Cass, come get us. <laughs> he specifically said that he couldn't, he had to maintain the, the ship. The donut How was much doing weight can the broom hold? 500, 500 pounds. <laughs> so we so can't go. <laughs> But I can bring a cup. Yeah. Like one. One. I mean, that's just no ball. I could take everybody. Get in the bag of holding. And then we die. He doesn't do it. I need to summon him right now. Okay. Now you want to yeah. I'm 400 pounds, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, both. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys pass okay, by the, the two barracks that you've cleared, the Southern Temple, and you get to another set of barracks. So you let's guys get remember another we here? round of investigation checks. Yeah. Yeah. time when we get this part. Investigate. When you go to investigate. Where you're Ooh, cool. 16. Yeah. So, uh, so you don't find anything in the bathhouse. 16. You don't find anything in the barracks. This one is completely empty. Fifteen? Uh-huh. Uh Victor finds uh twelve gold pieces just kind of scattered in the water. One of those like so, arm in the muck kind of things. Boy. So all the uh, my shiny sense is tingling and all Why did somebody bring gold into a bathhouse? We'll never know. Never know. Because they're not they're not paid. Gold just tarnishes a little, right? It doesn't it? That's the closest you can get to actually swimming in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then you you come up to uh, another large domed temple, but that looks uh, more like the western one than the southern one. Um, nothing in the barracks either, right? No, nothing in the barracks. 
A uh, single arched tunnel and set of steps lay before the opening of the temple proper. And as you approach the steps, you see a few aberrant gatherer corpses mm-hmm. littered about the entryway, unclaimed by their brethren. Hmm. Whatever killed these must have done something to them. How can we tell how long they've been dead? Uh, give me a medicine check. I'll check for traps. And check for traps. You Floating cannot corpses tell. feels like a thing. <laughs> Rogue five. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, it, Minus one. Yep. He <laughs> has no clue. 18? 18. There don't appear to be any traps in this hallway. The ghost is clear. Yep. Keep an eye for somebody. Something killed these. Right. Somebody. somebody. Something. Mm-hmm. Are there any so, arrows? There don't appear to be any arrows. No, like, what are the knife wounds? Like, are they... Uh, no you'd have to give wounds? me a medicine check medicine in order check. to find out. Oh, oh we're right on the wall over there. I'm really good at medicine. That's a five. Uh, <laughs> you and Eve share a look and just <laughs> nod at each other like, we have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> looks like they died of natural causes. I, I believe they, they died of dead. death. They're yes, dead. That, that was my uh, conclusion as Professional. well. Professional. Yes. <laughs> Opinion upon it. I concur. Okay. Heading on in? Or do I'm going to poke him with... with um, with my scimitar, with my double-bladed scimitar. Okay, yeah, you just... They're dead. I think they died of scimitar. <laughs> Is there a chair in this building? Uh, you are not in the building proper yet. There's kind of like a little tunnel leading up to the, the temple itself. There's no doors for this one, by the way. It's just kind mm. of a, a leading into this open. Every time I think of double-bladed scimitar, I think of two scimitars, like, <laughs> like one handle. Yeah. Yeah. Like a tuning fork. When, it's yeah. when, when I was... Um, a young uh, uh, when I was first playing D and D back when I was in like seventh grade, uh-huh. we we didn't know what we were doing, and my f- my friend who was also an ignorant twelve year old, you know what I mean, that was our DM, gave my other friend who was a fighter a double bladed sword, and we were mm-hmm. like so cool. And in our heads, it was the same. It was like, I was thinking it was like a tuning fork. So there is a, there's a movie that has like a triple bladed sword and it is exactly like that. Well, and so that's, and and ultimately he ended up getting a three bladed sword and we were like, whoa, like what? The only thing that could be better than a two bladed sword. (laughs) More blade. Is a three bladed sword and the middle blade shot. He could like point it. That is from the movie. (laughs) That happened. That is that is literally the sword in the movie. I don't remember the movie itself, but it literally like that middle one shoots out. (laughs) My friend must have seen it. Yeah, I love it. We were like, that's so funny. So awesome. (laughs) Perfect. Can you imagine trying to swing like this candelabra that's like six feet long? (laughs) Candelabra. The sword and the sorcerer. The sword and the sorcerer. Yep. Oh, it's a mercenary with a three bit three bladed projectile sword. Yep. Wow. Awesome. That's extra. Uh, anyway. Uh, every time you swing it, Liberace sings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alright, uh, so are we moving into the temple or are we just gonna keep poking these dead things? Let's move into the temple. <laughs> okay. I feel some cynicism coming from a some sort of <laughs> must be the tree presence <laughs> that I can't quite put my finger on. Definitely the claw. The claw seems like they would have that kind of thing. I am a big floating the hand thing. in the sky. The thing? Yeah. The thing mm. seems very... Whatever one aggressive. looks like a kitty cat. Mm. As you Good move out. into the temple, you feel the air steal, still, still, and go stale. That's why. I, yeah. This is my lady Anyone else move? move? An eerie quiet settling over the area. It just is kind of just like that really stale, like, you know, like just the air has been stale. Yeah, been old for a while. A large uh, lecturer's amphitheater stretches out before you. A full circle of stands rising high above. Green swirls of mist cover the ground. Like as you guys are just about to exit the tunnel, there's this green mist. From the worn and crumbling stands to the flat etched stone, a soft gray glow is visible at a specific point beneath the fog, twelve in total ringing around the room. In the center is a rune stone, much like the other ones you already possess floating above the mist and bobbing lazily in an unseen wind. So there's green mist and yep. then 12 gray... Like, 12 gray like glows that you glows can't really see in green. the mist. And they're making so, a circle? Yeah, they're kind of, it's like a clock face almost. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Can uh, Ezra or 
Sarek, and one of you try to blow this wist or mist away to see what we can... I mean, the best pres the prestidigitation like does is a... I know, it's like a puff of... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like a puff of wind. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you kind of, like, try a little bit, and it doesn't what is seem to move together? too much. And I don't have, like, gust of wind or anything. Oh, yeah. um, Take my shield. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't seem to do anything. Magic mist. Um, can I do an arcana check to see if, see if I can sense something from these? Your big gut is eating your little gut. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me an arcana check. Mm. Eleven. Um, you're not quite sure. You're you're sensing magic from the mist itself. It's obviously magical in nature, but you you're sensing that there is two different connected sources of magic. You mm. you got the mist, and then you've got whatever's beneath it. Yeah, probably the glow. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now can should we take a closer look? Let's inspect. If okay. we touch um, the mist, does anything happen? I want to go to the gray like, you, stuff. When you like, kind of put your hand in it, Delicious. not really. But no. you're you're gonna step forward. Okay. So I need you to roll me a Constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> Add five. Okay. Because you're. Yes. We'll assume you're within ten feet of oh. Eve. That's gonna be seventeen. Seventeen. Let's see here. Okay, so you make your saves. You're only gonna take half damage on this. Then my legs melt off like that old lady in Dante's Peak. Oh, <laughs> that's so. In cool. the water, the acid lake, whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That movie traumatized me. Why did my parents let me watch that when I was like seven? I swear. What's the wrong with you? Volcanoes and quicksand were gonna be a lot bigger yeah. problem when I grew up. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you only take. Eight poison damage Oof, okay. as this mist starts to like rise up around you, and you just start like coughing and trying to like get it out of your. <coughs> I, I grab him and pull him back out. Okay. You didn't quite make it to the gray stone because uh, the, the gray glow because they pulled you back out. Well, I don't need to breathe, and I have resistance to poison. Should probably do this. <laughs> We're walking. Okay. Uh, despite not needing to breathe, you do actually still have to make the save. This is magical mist, so give me a Constitution saving throw, and you have advantage because you're resistant, or is it just half damage? No uh, it's just half damage for poison damage. Sure. But my save was twenty-three. Twenty-three. So you will make your save. So you only take uh, eleven poison damage. Holy crap! That's a lot. Plus that was that was half for saving whatever having so you, you have it again. Half, okay, that's yeah. that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, oh, crap. No. So uh, <laughs> five. Yep. Uh, but you are able to get up to that first one. Go ahead and give me another Arcana check as you look down and you see a rune on the ground. It's natural twenty plus seven. It's twenty-seven. Uh, so you know enough about rune magic. Uh, you probably spent some time with dwarves mm -hmm. who have performed runic magic. Um, you know enough to know that this is a containment rune. It's keeping. Uh, this mist here, and you you're pretty sure that with that uh, with that roll that you could flip the rune and have it uh, repel it temporarily. It would use the magic in the room, but it would repel that mist away the, from the yeah away center. from the center of the rune itself. I will do that. Okay, so you is it like a like a physical thing I can like reach out and twist or something, or, it, or is it like a magic like, thing? Yeah, that... you're more just like twisting the magic inside okay. of it, and as you do uh, it. It, this big gust of wind blows away uh, everything within 20 f within 10 let's see sorry so it's a f it's a 10 foot rune and every square within 10 feet of it is cleared of the gas but you can already see that like that used up that rune and now the gas is starting to like fill in a little bit but it did uh, clear out so this is an 80 foot room the middle is still has the gas in it, but now there's a little pocket. Now, I, can I get to that, the floating uh, rune stone? Um, yeah, you can go ahead and move forward to it. Uh, you get up to it, and you're just, just about to grab it. Again, you're kind of getting into the mist at this point, uh -huh. when uh, it pulls away from you, and the spectral form of a ghostly cloud giant forms Ooh. and says, you will not take this from me! Can I just borrow it? <laughs> We're going to roll initiative. <laughs> 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 Okay. And we'll be right back with another battle. Woo! Battle time! Okay, uh, so Scott <laughs> switches over to the battle map as I explain a few things here. Uh, so you have 
or Boramix in the center here, uh, the, the cloud giant's name. He is spectral and looks half like decayed in his spectralness, mm. and the, the rune is sitting inside of him at this point. Um, the entire room is covered in, uh, I think it's cloud kill is what it's called. Oh. It's covered in cloud kill. Okay. Uh, the rune that Bolt activated has pushed everything in that in those squares plus everything within 10 feet out. So That's those okay. those spaces are clear. 30 feet? Yes. So now, what's going to happen is that's already moving back in. Okay. So you need to continually move around and trigger these other runes if you want to continue to stay out of the mist. But like this uh, one's clear. We could get to this you, one. Yep, you can get is to the one of the corner. Free of that action one. to flip it, or do we need to it, spend an action? You will need to spend an action in order to flip a rune. Okay. And so, what's going to happen is this round it will be fine. At the top of the next round, it will. Or at, at the end of Bolt's next turn. Uh, well, sorry, after your first turn, just because it's hard. Five feet? It'll move in uh, five feet and then another five feet. Ooh, so. Okay. Yep. So and then basically have two rounds for each room. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, two rounds of free coverage and then basically one round to get to the next room without triggering right. the cloud Unless kill. Unless you have but, then. But the problem is, like, it only goes to here. Yes. So he's always in the. Currently, he is in the so Noxious we need to, we need I wonder to, if we flip them all. We need to. The, Kite him. I need to get him to move to the happy place. Can you place. pull him with your chain? He is too big. Because it's only it's only uh, huge or smaller. Oh, he's okay. he's sure he's, not huge. Uh, large or smaller. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's uh, so before we get any gigantic. further, let's go ahead and roll initiative and oh, yeah. pull yeah, what you got for initiative. Oh, yeah. uh, I got 19. 19. I had I had that ready. That was <laughs> a, a that was a wormhole <laughs> moment because I had my fingers on that already. Eve. What did you have ready for me? <laughs> 46. That's definitely not your initiative. Oh, it's 10. <laughs> she does have Four a plus six. She does have a Four plus six is 10. <laughs> I also have 10. What's your dex? Ezra's got a better dex. Yeah. 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 I go first. Ceridon. 20. 20. It's got Eve first for some reason. Huh. I'm going to give you a plus one. This was just because I know that you yeah. first. And Victor. Nine. Sorry, I. Nothing against Eve. It's just I know who has more dex. A little dexier. Hey, that's all. You are definitely dexier. But you are way stronger than me, so. Right. He's pretty strong. Yeah. I see her kill a man with a bare fist. I she punched you and you almost died. I was that man that she killed. Uh, now <laughs> she killed your ego. <laughs> and she drug your body to a cleric. Ego death. Paid for the resurrection and then killed you again. Yeah. Just to prove point. Most right. people yeah. go take ayahuasca for their ego death, but you just got punched right in the gut. I'm good to go. Happy to do it again if mm -hmm. you need a little reminder. Okay, uh, so. I'm if actually going to do a surprise round him, first because I he surprised you. Surprise. Nobody had any ethereal sight in order to see Does him. He just pop up and say his name. Yeah. <laughs> he says, You will not take this from <laughs> oh, Well, He's just a Pokemon. Got it. You see his name his, pop up. Name. MP bar, HP bar. Oh, no. This is Dark Souls. Start rolling. Dodge forward when he makes his attacks. Yeah. So you said it shrinks in at five feet every time, right? Uh, yeah, shrinks in five feet mm -hmm. at the okay. end of each of your turns. All right, well, I got the markers for that. So, so here is the attack against you. He's just going to make a single attack here. That's all he has time for. And that is a 29 to hit. Bad. Sheesh! This is a Dark Souls boss. Yep. Now, although oh, Scott is oh, actually going to be quite happy about this. 17 force damage. Okay. Have that. <laughs> As he basically brings this uh, spectral morning star around and just slams it uh, through you. And then we get into proper encounter, which I have to pull up again because the encounter builder has been having issues since it came out. <clears throat> You know, D&D &D Beyond, if you sponsored us, we would uh, sing your praises even if you're having problems. Uh, Sarah, like it is actually your turn <laughs> first. Okay. Okay. He does that for I know. <laughs> Having seen what Bolt did, okay. she's going to run up here to this rune okay. and try to 
manipulate it in the same Bleep way. Lord. Okay, give me an Arcana check. Okay. You have advantage because you have done some rune magic work. So did it shrink, did it shrink uh, at the beginning, like at the top of the round? End of your turn. That's uh, 21. 21, oh, that's enough. Yep, you flip that one over. We'll go ahead and throw. Very nice. So everything within two squares of that is now clear. And again, same thing, uh, except for obviously like it's coming in that way. So you probably got a little bit more time on that. On the yeah. side, but. As a bonus action, she's going to cast Hunter's Mark on Boromax. That's a Vengeance Paladin Base spell. Base. Okay. Um, and then kind of move. Hold giant. Here. <laughs> okay. And protect you from say, <coughs> Hey, Bolt, bring that big windbag this way. I'll do what I can. It is actually Bolt's turn. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but you you have done work in Malagoth when you worked for the Vanguard. Mm -hmm. They taught you basic runes. You never really had any magical aptitude for it, so you didn't. You just knew what to look for yeah. rather than anything else. Um, but as you kind of like reach down and you're you're feeling the magic inside of this, you, you feel that connection with your dwarven ancestry and you're like, oh, and you just flip cool. it on over. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna cast Kinetic Jaunt. Okay. On my shelf. Concentration. So now I don't provoke opportunity attacks. Um, and that's a bonus action, okay. so I'll go ahead and attack with the Thinder Gauntlet. The Thinder Gauntlet. Uh, 16. A 16 will hit. Okay. Uh, four thunder damage. Sorry, six thunder damage. Six thunder damage. <clears throat> and then I can make a second one. Uh, 12. A 12 will miss. Uh, add in the die. 16. 16 will hit. Uh, seven thunder damage. Seven thunder damage. Right away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yep, just kind of back up. Okay. Like that. You called him a windbag. Was that right? Oh, oh, oh. oh um, no! I necklace? called him. Was it a windbag? Mm -hmm. yep, you said I did say windbag. Except for this isn't this isn't that guy. I don't yeah. Think. Uh, so Bolt, you kind of start blurring a little bit. You kind of start going faster. You uh, slam into him a couple times with your fist, and then you rush backwards. Mm -hmm. And then it is his turn. And he goes, "Windbag, am I?" <laughs> and then he is. Uh, he Whoopsies. lets out a dreadful howl that summons a cold, biting wind. It engulfs Saradon. Uh, Bolt and Eve, actually. You wow. Need, you are each pulled Maybe. 20 feet towards him. Oh, oh no. Do we get a saving throw? Nope. Not oh, for no. that. No yeah. save! Oh man, he is a Dark me. Souls boss. Uh, Scott. Well, I guess I'll go be taking my winnings. So, those of you who enter into <laughs> the mist, which will be Saradon and Bolt, have to make a. Um, oh, this guy's. You had to make a, a saving throw at the beginning of your turn as well. Okay, for uh, for the poison. So oh, con. Make, yeah, make me a con saving throw, and then you make me a con saving throw for the the cloud kill. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Seventeen is a success. Fourteen. Fourteen is not enough. Does the wind that he just cast disperse at the cloud kill? Uh no. So for the damage that you took for the first cloud kill on your turn, and here's an epic die for me missing that damage because that's how that works. You take. <laughs> 19 poison damage cut in half for okay. your poison resistance. Now that's right up. <laughs> yeah. And then roll me another Sorry. constitution saving now, throw for being pulled back in. Concentration control. doesn't matter for like ongoing damage, right? Just for yeah, attacks? Any, anytime you take yeah. damage. Yeah. Anytime yeah. I take damage. So yeah. I have to roll a concentration for that. Yeah. Well, no, sorry. That, that would have been before. Yep. So, so, so roll me we'll another constitution, constitution saving throw for this one that you guys both got pulled into. Each Much time higher. Uh, okay. 24. 24? Yep. So you both make, make your save. <clears throat> so the total uh, poison damage on that is 21. Cut in half is 10. 10 and then 5 for you. So, and then... And then I need all three of you to make, make me concentration another save. constitution save. Sheesh. Yeah, 20 uh, okay. 
Yeah. Another one for the biting range. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 14. 14. Cool. It's a failure. Uh, um, it has a failure. 12 plus epic. Uh, 13. 13 is a failure. Ow. So you all are going to two. take. Except for whatever Weasley that plays with dragons. Uh, What's Bill. his face? Bill. Charlie. Charlie. 23 cold damage. Oh, my. I'm going to use what absorb elements as a reaction. Yep, yeah, I am the two. I think it was Bill. Oh, wait. Well, well, what was the no, same? Because I forgot no, about here. my aura of protection. That was a cost. So, so I was actually so 15. What was the 15, 15 was a success, so you only take half. Okay. Damage. What was the damage again? It was... <laughs> that sounded like a <laughs> sci-fi <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the sound effects. It's just my stomach. Oh boy! Yeah. Uh, what it's was the that you just took? I thought it was twenty-four. Twenty or twenty-five. Twenty. Twenty. 20 something. I didn't write it. Down twenty-one. Yet. Just twenty-one cold damage. Okay, okay, so, so I, I, I cast absorb elements yes. as a reaction. Okay, so you take the uh, take the you take half, half damage yep. and then you Saranon, is, you give out that other half, or it's just it's just, it's just I get a d six of uh, cold. That's not where we're going. Okay. And then roll for your spell that you cast, sir. Yet another concentration. It's not like one per turn, right? Every time. Uh, so it has to be higher than what I took damage, right? Yes. It's 13. Yeah. So it's higher. Uh, and by the way, you don't have. Uh, and then you need to roll me a d20 for your using a spell. Huh? <laughs> you don't have two spells, two technically. Because I cast yeah. Connect John. Yep. Two with two. <laughs> So one, so brings up to four, and then two. So I'm at five on my spell potion. Okay. And that is his turn. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, just mm. practically just killed Just casually wipe well, us out. You're right. He is, <coughs> he is a windback. Mm. <laughs> full of it and full of himself. Full of cold air. <coughs> Ezra, oh, excuse me. It is your turn. All right. I'm going to stay back. Come on, easy. I'm uh, going to. Send expert. expert. Well, Go hold on. Fly. So this shrinks after my turn. This one shrunk down. Mm. So it's only this big, which means you started your turn in cloud kill. No, so the tunnel itself does Stops not have to it? Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yep. right Sorry. Okay. I thought it, I'm I thought it extended right into the tunnel. right to the edge. And then I'll send expert to give me oh, some help here. And I'm going to shoot him with sharpshooter. I forgot about the tunnel. So, itself. sorry. <laughs> if we all die, I think we should both roll bards. Yeah, let's do it. There's two bards. Um, so all bards. Be we'll not be able to 18, hit. Uh, 18 will hit. All right. I will also point out that the cloud kill is technically magic, a magic effect for oh. your aura's sake. That's so, going to be so um, eight damage, but I'm going to do another grasping arrow. Okay. On him. Uh, where did those go? Come on, scroll down. There we go. So 2d6 poison damage. He is immune to poison. Okay, fine. Um, he's wrapped in the I was thing. He needs to, if he moves, he's going to take 2d6 damage. And then, of course, he can take his action to break it. Um, I'll shoot again. Okay. With sharpshooter. Um, 19 to hit. 19 will Oh, sorry. Uh, 14 to hit, actually. 14 will miss. Every time. Fifteen computer. Stop. But I wanted to hear what. I don't know what that was. <laughs> he was gonna say. A fifteen to hit. Yeah. Let's see if I can look up. Will hit. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's Ooh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's epic day. Okay, that's gonna be uh, math. Uh, twenty-one damage. Twenty-one. What was the damage on the first one that you did? It was low. That seemed pretty low for a sharpshooter. I pr I probably forgot that ten. Yeah, let's go ahead and yeah. ten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems fine. I always do that for some reason. Here's that epic die. How do you um, have so many epic dice? He's been I only had two. Laugh. I just, uh. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't do. Them. Make him laugh. Make him laugh. <laughs> make him laugh. Try. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna. Laugh. Sorry. With that hit as well, I'm gonna use my superiority dice because it resets on a short rest. Rest. Mm -hmm. And push him. Okay. Yeah. So push him five. That's, he needs to make a strength save. I think it's I think it's only larger greater. Ooh, I check think you're right. Larger size. smaller. That's what I meant. Let me check. Let me check. Uh hold on. I gotta look it up because D and D beyond is dumb. Um <laughs> large or smaller. He's bigger than large, right? Okay, I'm not large. gonna do that because that would not work. Okay. But he's still grasped. Okay, yeah, he's got those tangled yeah. vines around him. And that'll be actually 
Okay, so that was. I'll start moving this way. Into the into the cloud kill. I'll go right to the, oh, it's right here, huh? Yeah. Well, so okay, I'll go yeah. right to the edge of where that is. Yep. So on my next turn, I can start. It heard nineteen hits. Weird. Okay. All right. Good turn. Yep. Yeah, it should just kind of fire off a couple of arrows. Ixburn is kind of like. He, he goes in quickly and then he starts like spiraling up immediately as like this mist unnaturally starts like reaching for him. Uh, but he made it out of there. It's so, like, that's a regular old Pidgeotto scene from Pidgeotto. Pokemon. Yeah. Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is Eve's turn. Hero, hero. Scott, would you set the, the dice on the one to one and the other to two, just so we know how many turns are left before that fog is completely back? Okay. Eve will cast Bless. Um, at the second level, so that's all of you. Okay. Again, the trio's magic level. kind of second swirls level. around everyone. I hope this helps. And then are you going to stay where you are or are you going to move? Um, I'm... Because it takes my action okay. to flip a thing. Uh, yeah, it would take your action to flip a room. Uh, Did you move in on purpose? Yeah, I okay. moved like right I'm to the edge. So on my next turn, I can there. flip it. Okay. okay. So we keep yep, that should be safe until the end of Bolt's next turn. Okay. So that would come before your turn, just FYI. So you would end yeah. up in the. Well, let's just move over to this one then. Okay. Actually, sorry. Yep. Can I have moved to this space instead of this space? Just so uh, that yeah. when it closes off, I'm just right there to flip it. Okay. Yep. Move into my space. <coughs> oh, sorry. I, I shouldn't say that you can reflip that. The magic is gone. The room. Oh, is like it's done and it's, it's done. Gone. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. So over here. Then. Yeah. So well, I only have. I can only go right there because I only have five more. Actually, no. I have to stay because I only have five more feet of movement. Yeah. So you can't go. Right. I'll stay just, in the hall then. Yeah. Okay. So if knowing that, climbing. if yeah, if, <laughs> okay. knowing that, I won't take damage immediately on purpose. Someone didn't plan for a hallway that I created. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide in there. Uh, so he, he <sighs> brings about the uh, the fury or the blessings of the trio again, and then. Let's see. Where was I? Sorry. You were, you were right here. No, you were too. Oh, yeah, you were. Right you there. got. Um. Oh, I was there. I don't, like, I almost just wonder if I should just go in there with you guys. Put some, put some in the aura. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll just okay. risk it. Okay. Thanks. Get right next. next so go ahead and roll me a yeah. constitution save. You have reach? You don't reach, do you? Not anymore. But oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. my yep. goodness. Um, that's not good. What? Mistake goals? So, um, eight plus three. Mistake goals. Eleven. Eleven. And that's a failure, so you'll take. Wait, plus five. Five. Is it success? I. No. Hmm? It it automatically adds. Your oh, it does. Oh, Never mind. Darn it! So, yeah, it's failure. So you'll take full damage on this, but half damage because it is a spell for your aura. Okay. That's right. So. I don't like when he's counting so much. <laughs> Am I even rolling the right dice? Oh dear. That's this really good. D twenties. All right. Going to right. It's easy on twelve. My bad. You shouldn't have I'm gonna go. This when did I ever say I was going easy? Yeah, I should be rolling D eights, not D sixes. Whoops. My bad. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that, I think that's where they have epic dice for everyone because that math works, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. okay. It only works if uh, if it's a bank error in my favor. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Real life rules, not monopoly. Yeah. Not rules. Uh, so it's twenty total poison damage, cut in half. For, so it's three for your spell resistance. Ten, ten, ten. Take these guys. All right, and then Victor. All right, I'm going to step toward the door and say, "Oh, that looks pretty nasty in there. I don't know if I want to go inside. I'm going to cast um, Zephyr Strike on myself. Okay, That's and an I'm going to attack from." See how it was far enough. Can I? I'm sorry to be a pain. Can I retcon something? Can what, I? What do you have to retcon? Twenty. So I want to, as a bonus action, have activated 
my ten. charge for my I can do, that gives me weapon. Half and 30. so it gives me does 30. the incense. So yeah, okay. Is that okay? Around. Yeah, you know that heals yeah. all creatures, not just... Around, oh, it heals all creatures? Yes. Yeah, However, yeah, the benefits are only in our party against one yeah. creature yeah. at this point. Yes. Okay. And then that's a bonus action, right? Bonus action. Okay. So what does that do? Bonus casting plus. Is that a bonus too? No, this isn't a spell. Bless is an action. Cool. So as a bonus action, you can speak the command word to cause the flail to emanate a thin cloud of incense out to 10 feet for one minute. Oh, yeah. At the start of each one of your turns, you and any other creatures in the incense each regain 1d4 hit points. Okay. So a little bit of healing there. At the uh, start. At the start. Of, at, sorry. So that'll, that'll take effect. Yeah. That'll start your next turn. Okay. Uh, for a minute, uh, what's the command word? Ooh. Snakey wakey, snake eyes. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. I have to think about that. Snakey wakey. <laughs> <I'm a, laughs> it's definitely not. We'll come back to that. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. Uh, so, Literally Victor, you move up to that second rune that was triggered. Yeah, I'm gonna move up to there. Okay. And I am attacking. I rolled a natural twenty. So, Ooh, no. and I'm hitting him. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. So I, this, this is this is Preston. This is this is some plus. clone. <laughs> You right? rolled. Colby has How many taken a hair three, from three Preston's head and so. recreated him in a lab <laughs> in his own image. And then sent him back out. We maxed his luck stats. <laughs> right. Okay, so first, um, we got the 24 types. So I'm going to do a sneak attack first. I'm going to work backwards. So, so we got the 24, plus 12, 30, so 36. Six plus, um, this was with, uh, where did you get that channel song? 36. So that's going to be 45. So it's plus nine with this damage. Plus the the die again, right? Uh, yeah, forty five. So forty five. Yeah. So forty five plus you got to add. And then the, another four, so that's going to be forty nine. Forty nine plus your roll. Plus, well, I already, no, he already rolled. rolled. Oh, you already rolled. Already rolled. Right. And then on top of that, I have the damage from Zephyr Strike, which is a one d eight. So it's eight plus so eight plus a roll. That's eight and eight sixteen. So that's another sixteen. Wow, man. Uh, sixty. 65. Five. Five. And then. Two. Whoa. You're rocking this. I think one. is there anything else? It's awesome. I think that's everything on that one. Woo! Um, so, yeah, I'll throw Can it. Can you smite or anything? No, <laughs> so I use my. 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 Break that down to whatever yep. types. One of them is force. The 16 of it is force. Okay. Yeah, so you, you full on just like. You see this this mist like reaching up and like clawing at the faces of your companions, and you just take Cinder Hearth and you just toss it with all your your might, all of your skill behind it. You feel the other blades like follow with it and travel behind it, and they all just go ch -ch 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 through them at once, and just kind of like slice a good chunk of them. And he lets out a the roar. This action is dropping one at each and saying, "Defend!" Uh, I thought your bonus action was to cast Thunder Strike. Uh, that was my act. Oh no! Hold on. Let's see. Oh, oh shoot. no! Am I getting? Zephyr strike! You move like the wind. No! Stop roaring yourself. Once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack. What is the action that it's required for Zephyr strike? It's a bonus action. You're right. So, so, so it's can't not, take this. One. It's not these ones. At least it wasn't the other way. Yeah, we, at least it wasn't an action. That would have yeah, been... Yeah, cause then you might as well we are notorious here. for rolling crits on, on attacks that we shouldn't have. That's <laughs> true. Okay. So, they taunt us. That's the only yeah. way you can crit in this game. That's where it's at. Bag of wind. Okay. Stop what you're doing. Go back to whatever <laughs> fart bag you came from. Oh boy. This is the Temple of Farts, after all. Mm -hmm. The Eastern Temple of Farts. Yes. <laughs> Become silent. Well, no, don't be silent and deadly. Be silent and just go, yeah, silent. So, uh, silent and dead. He kind of like staggers a little bit at the top of the road here, and then he go, and then he just goes. And you see all that mist starting to flow into him. So there is no more uh, cloud kill on the ground. Instead, it is flowing inside of him, roiling around. No. You can see it surrounding the rune stone. He's gonna do a major like dragon's breath attack. style. Yeah. Uh, Saradon, it's your turn. Okay. So I'm scared. scared. Um, all right. She's just gonna. Definitely didn't think we'd get here that quickly, but she's uh, gonna make some attacks. Crits or crits. That's a uh, phase two has started. Everyone. Twenty-seven. <laughs> 27 will hit. Four. Come on, Sari. Um, 12 damage. 12 damage. Second attack is a 26. 26 will hit. For 17 damage. 17. Okay. And then 
the non but but action. Wait, wait. Yeah. Come up with the name for that one. The half. The bar action. The half oh. attack. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to add um, Hunter's Mark damage. Your absorb elements to this first too, yeah. and the absorb elements. So that's another six, nine, Pommel trauma. twelve. Twelve more damage. Twelve total damage? Yes. Okay. And then uh, I can't remember what I rolled on that last attack. It wasn't very good, though. How much of that was the cold damage, by the way? Uh, just three of it. Three. I rolled a non-butt butt action, and it was not very high, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a four or a five plus like one or two from my DA plus eight. So it was probably like a 14 or a 15, but I know that that's his AC, so. <laughs> roll me, say, say roll me a, a D20, and if you get 10 or higher, we'll, we'll say it hits. Okay, three, I missed. Okay, you missed. Darn. But here's an epic die <laughs> consolation. <Sorry. Yay. laughs> All right, uh, yeah, so you come in and you just, you're just swirling around trying to hack away as, as much of this as possible. Uh, the miss is gone, so we don't need to worry about tracking those. That's all. Bolt. Okay. Just gonna go Thundergall attack. Okay. Um, that is 15. 15 will hit. Because we know that's his AC. <laughs> <laughs> we learned it. 8 plus 5. Uh, 13 damage. 13. And then did you add your... So that's 13 thunder damage. Yep. I added the, the cold. Cold. Uh, uh Yeah, so 3 of it. 3 right. of it. Five of it okay. would have been cold. Okay. So another one. Way higher. 16 plus 8 plus. Yeah. That way. That is 700 damage. And then I'm going to action surge. Ooh, you're a level 2 fighter now. Yes, I am. And I'm going to do it all over again. Okay. Z Two more punches. And then can I do them both at the same time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, both sevens. <laughs> uh, plus less both twos. So <laughs> nine plus eight. Uh, 17. 17. And they both hit. Nice. Uh, and so one of them is nine damage and the other one is seven. All, all thunder. Okay. All thunder all the time. Uh, yeah, he is definitely looking worse for wear, but he is still mm -hmm. up. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Yes. The second wind a bonus? Yes, second wind is a bonus. I actually. will do that. So I'll get a d10 plus two. Okay. And then it is his Ooh, turn. Five damage, five heals. Experiment. And he. Yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> Thankfully, he's still, well, thankfully for me, I guess. Bad for you guys. He's still alive, and he just leans forward and just breathes a noxious cloud of gas in a 30-foot cone from him. So that hits everybody but Ezra. 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 I think he might be able to hit Ezra. Well, actually, he's more than 30. Thunderous burping sounds. 30. Sorry, it's upstairs. Yeah, so, no, it's just, yeah, it's just like a, raw, you know, it's a Imhotep shooting the locust out of his mouth. Yeah. Um, so everybody, that, I don't know why I'm rolling for this. Uh, give me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Save. This is a this is cloud kill. So you'll still those of you who are within ten feet of Eve will have twenty two half damage on this. That's a success. Twenty five. That's a success. Um, at, sorry, seventeen. That is a success. Okay. Twenty one. And that's a success. So Victor doesn't take. Oh no, it's only dexterity. Dex saves only. Up, yeah. But um, I don't think evasion. I think it's the. I think it has to be an attack. I don't think it can be an area attack. For, yeah. It's seventeen <coughs> total poison down. damage, halved for Ceradon, Eve, and Bolt. And then halved again for me. No, because poison. No, is this no. this is not considered. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, yeah, ha it's halved. It's quartered for you guys. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah, because you all made your save. This is not considered so, an attack. You Wait, said 17. Is, what was the total damage? Yeah, right? 17 poison damage. So okay, four? Cut in half, so cut in half. Sorry. This is not considered an attack. It is not an attack. No. Okay. Well, theirs would only be cut in half. Mine would be cut in half from the save. Well, so because because it's a magic spell, her aura oh, deals... Oh, cool. Yeah. I was going to say because I have resistance. Yeah. But, so, so, uh, so it's cut in half, cut in half for all of you. Yeah. Except so for Victor. eight and then four. four. So yeah. four poison damage, eight for Victor. Okay. If, I, if I notice... 
Do I notice Sarah getting hurt at all? Because <laughs> I can just. I mean, yeah, she's take getting it. hurt. Well, I mean, like. I'm okay. Was it a. Ah! Or was it like a. Ah, oh. It's like a. <laughs> stinky. Yeah. The dust. Okay. You need to brush your teeth. Have you heard of soda? With a little water and a twig, you can just kind of scrub some of that out. Ezra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have a body. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Next burn! And I will take a shot at it with sharpshooter. Damn oh, crap! Oh, yes. oh, it's All right, over. Time to unload. <laughs> as much as I need to. Okay. Such oh, I gotta roll my cards. Yep. This is gonna be. Even has to roll cards. Yep. Succeed. So, so I have. Yeah. I'm gonna write this down too. Oh, you're concentrating too. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Mark. Oh, yeah. The weirdest concentration spell I've ever so much. Like, it, it seems like. Mine saved as well. It would be okay. better if strikes. it didn't require a bonus action to transfer to other targets. Uh, but on a on a big bad, it's, it's not a bad spell right. to use. No, but, I mean, that's, yeah. but so that's 46 damage. Crit and crit, 46 total oh, damage? It's not going to do much. Uh, how do you want to do it? Oh, just right through the throat. Okay, yeah. And you it just stop all his Yeah, he's like he's like breathing out. directly on them and you go right through the throat and it just like nice. and spirals up into the air out the eight or out the kind of windows that are at the top of this auditorium and he just dissolves into nothing and the runestone clatters to the ground. Pick it up. Everybody all right? Okay. I've been better. Oh. But I've been worse. I will I suppose oh. I'll be able to oh. say that for you. You are both um so that lasts for a minute, right? Yes. So everybody can gather around and for, uh, so roll 10d4. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. For me, so that you guys can all get healing from it. Yeah. Okay. Regular old Lucio. Ready? <laughs> Which one is this? This is one. the, the, the <laughs> censure. Oh. Plus. Five. Okay. Six. Thank you. Three. Eight. Eight. Ten. It's like to be. Thirteen. Fifteen. Uh, Three. Eighteen. One. 19, uh, 21, 25. Everybody regains 25 hit points. Oh, nice. that's, that yeah. is my favorite snake hole of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of snake holes that I'm partial to, so <laughs> that's really saying something. The snake hole heals us all. We're going to write hymns <laughs> to the trio about snake hole. We should. Back to full health. Thanks, Almost. Snake Almost full. Back to the side. Thumbnail. Oh, that is some potent incense. My favorite snake hole. What is that? What, no, do, what does no, it smell it's like? like? I'd like to know what the incense It's definitely like, like an earthy, maybe like a, a woodsy smell. It probably like smells cedar like a, a yeah. Snake. Maybe yeah. some patchouli. Cedar, cedar and patchouli. patchouli. Yeah. I like I it. I love patchouli. Especially in sensors. Vanilla patchouli, cedar patchouli. That's much better than that giant's breath. It's like one of those candles that's the wax, like the, the burnless candles or whatever. You yes. just stick the cube in it. Oh, it we all we all hook up to the. What are they? What are they in like an opium den with the big? All the hookah. <laughs> the hookah. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone gather on the hookah. Uh, so as the mist clears and all the other runes kind of fade away, uh, you do see that <laughs> snake tails break off and the on yeah. on the west and the east wow. uh, sides of this building, basically, of this area that you're in, there are staircases leading up to the stands. <laughs> Should we investigate? Yeah, let's see if we can find anything. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get some investigation checks, please. I'll cast guidance on myself. I forget that I have that now. You can do this. <laughs> 23. Your ancestors are with you. That's right. 25. 23, 25. Yeah, well, you guys got I it. mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. 13. Okay. Uh, so there are a few, like, bodies of students in here, like skeletons at this point. Um, and most have a few coins on them, so you get 45 gold pieces uh, in total to pass around. And then you do find that one of the students is wearing a robe that is not as uh, decayed as everything else. It looks uh, magical. And it's this weird... It's, it's the weirdest robe you've seen, because most of them are kind of like a standardized... Uh, gray color, you know, standard monk robe. But this one looks like it's got a bunch of different weird uh, patches sewn into it. Mm. I will cast a Identify as Ritual. Okay. Uh, so you take 10 minutes to cast Identify. This is a robe of useful items. 
So it has a specific number of patches, and you peel a patch off, and it turns into that item. The and schnozberries tastes like schnozberries. That's berries. amazing. Uh, and there are so, Sweet. if I remember correctly, like there's a, there's a base dream base. magic item. Yes, I think Victor. Yeah, it sounds like this. a Victor item. And it doesn't require attunement either. I don't believe. Oh, cool. So, uh, which, nice. Yep. Uh, really so cool. it has two of the following patches: dagger, two bullseye lanterns filled and lit, two steel mirrors. Two ten foot poles. Can you just? Is I mean, it, is it a that's, thing in that's a, in? Yeah, it's not a custom. Yeah, I'm anything. just telling you guys so that you know because nobody's ever encountered this. <coughs> uh, there's two hempen ropes, fifty feet coiled, and two sacks. And then I did pre-roll the other items because it does come with some extra ones. Uh, there is a patch for a rowboat. Ooh. There are two patches for that's iron cool. doors. Uh, there is a patch that is a bundle of four healing potions. Nice. Uh, there are two pit patches, which are kind of these black circles on it, and then there is a patch that looks like a riding horse. Like like Looney Tunes, just open and throw a pit it's, in the middle of the awesome. floor? And it's a playful horse. Riding horse, yeah. Yeah. The riding horse, yep. That's awesome. So you can, you can look up what those patches do because you have identified it. Like, basically they summon the individual individual thing. The iron door blocks, like, an area and, and shifts yeah, to awesome. match it. Literally, it's it's Looney Tunes with the pit. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, on the ground. Victor, do you want this? Oh, yeah, well, right. Explain, what it, explain what it does. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds the only reason for bounty hunting reasons. And here's <laughs> yes. put up the gold. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, nine, 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 nine gold each. Yep. <laughs> well, if you decide you don't want it, I could also use it as well. Nine gold, you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, you, if you want to use it, that's totally fine. I, the only thing I probably steal from you is the daggers, but. I think it, the rest is situational. Situational. Somehow. It just seems like it was made for you. Yes, wearing this robe, riding on a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> I could be like a magician or something cool. I don't know. Go ahead. Cool. Go ahead and take you it. You are something cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, all right. Without a doubt. How do I look? Oh, my like brother. a gleaming witch. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of a kid guy named Brom. He was a good gleeman. I like that. <laughs> is this a Corey doesn't know, but he's to take a drink anyway. Oh, uh, actually, that was just Eye of the World. That was Wheel of Time. That is Eye of the World. I was referring to my character, Brom, who is also actually modeled after Brom from the. So. <laughs> Perfect. Double Tom. whammy. Double whammy. Tom. Tom. All right. Uh, so, Tom do we need to take a short rest as Brom. well? Oh, or I think Brom Brom is okay. I'm, good. Okay. I'm, I'm full health. And after the snake hole hookah. <laughs> snake hole hookah is. Snake hole hookah is good. Was good. <laughs> so, it's now called Snake Hole Hookah Stick. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Great. I like I like Preston's <laughs> idea that e- the snake's tails come out and you smoke out. <laughs> yep. That's how you hit the thing. No. Yeah. This is a holy it's weapon. So, like, it is yeah, a holy weapon. Yeah. 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 You, you gotta curb this no. before it gets any worse. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. It is full of holes. You're help correct. me come up with a cool name for it. I uh, I can't. I never the snake holes. I like that one the best. The snake hole is snake kind of good. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Let me think about it. You can have a catchphrase with it. Yeah, you gotta think of your command. Could be the trios, the trio sensor. Sensor. Yep. Trios. All right. Should we head to, to the north? <laughs> the trios holes. Or back to the north. Let's, let's let's maybe, maybe this time. Let's north. not. Yes. No, take a detour. I'm a little tired of this walk. <laughs> this same. view is okay. it's not that good. I mean, you see the same sides of all these the purple fleshy blobs should, in the air. Maybe we should walk all the way back, put the thing in, then go all no. the way back. Sure. I mean, Just get two at once. Okay. Uh, right. So you guys continue on the path after heading uh, from east to north. Uh, there is another set of things. You're not finding anything in the bathhouses anymore. They've pretty much been cleared out. You do hear a strange, like, crying sound as you approach the barracks for this one, though. It seems like a, a sort of like a soft wailing. Uh, so who would like to is approach to this? Is giving me left for dead. Too. Are we mm-hmm. wailing? Is there yeah. a witch in there? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll investigate. If you hear a child's voice in the night, eight. run. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, if I hear a child's voice in the night, I have to get up and guidance on myself. You smell like burning. Same. Same. Um, that is 23. 23? So you walk up and you kind of like uh, creak the door open slowly. And you see another spectral figure kind of wandering through this barracks. Uh, she appears to be kind of 
she's got kind of frazzled hair. She's got kind of uh, black eyes that just seem to be dripping like uh, darkness uh, from them or some sort of ichor. Uh, and she's kind of softly wailing. Um, you've you've heard about banshees before, and this is very clearly a banshee. And as you watch, she like she like kind of wanders around the room, and she she goes up and she goes up to this broken mirror that's still in here, and she looks at it, but she can't see her reflection, and that causes her to like let out a little bit more of a banshee well that sends your sets your teeth on edge and everything. Yeah, I I, I take that mirror from from um, Bolt that he's handing out okay. to me, and. Hmm. Honestly, that sounds amazing. I don't really like looking at myself in the mirror. Oh, come on. <laughs> Does anyone? I'm going to sneak right up behind her. Like checking themselves And out. like you know, hold the mirror checks. in front of her face. Okay. Uh, so so go ahead and give me so, just a quick like <laughs> stealth check or acrobatics. Up to you. Um, either way. So. <laughs> it's a uh, 21. 21? Uh, yeah, you're able to kind of, because she's kind of going on a, a predictable path, mm-hmm. almost like I didn't program her very well. Uh, <laughs> and, and so you're able to like sneak up behind her, and the next time she comes up to the mirror, you bring the hand mirror around, uh-huh. and she sees herself, in, and instead of wailing, she lets out this sigh, and then just kind of like fades and dissolves into nice. nothing. And then you hear a click from the mirror. Ooh. Like a cracks? The like a, the like one in my hand or the one that was uh, not the one in your hand. The, in the room. The one in the room. Uh-huh. Broken mirror. So I'll, I'll uh, take that mirror back. Yeah, it mind. worked. Um, Good for I something other. Click than just... come from the mirror here. And this is like a full mirror, not just like. A hand okay. Mirror. Does it look like? It looks like part of it popped down. Okay. I would like. Be careful. I would like to investigate to make sure it's not trapped. Seven, yeah. Yes. Seven years bad luck. You drop that thing. This is an unbreakable mirror, though. So <laughs> no bad luck. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, they don't appear to be any traps. It seems fine, but I'm not really familiar with. Let's let's with let's, the construction of mirrors. Let's open it up. <laughs> if it's a door, I try to like see if there's anything behind it. Uh, yeah. So you pull the kind of away. It looks like there's a little hidden cubby in here. Uh, there is a small little uh, chest, kind of music box chest. As you open it up, you can hear that soft tinkling mm. of just some childhood like melody. Peeing. Yes. Peeing. Uh, and then there's fifty gold inside of it. Okay. And a scroll. Ooh, so, a scroll. So, sorry, we're in the north area, right? Now? Yeah, right now you're in the northeast barracks area. So, ten gold for northwest everybody. Northeast. Yep, ten gold for everybody. Um, yeah, I'll I'll open the scroll and see if I can make out what it's what's um, written. That's a good question. On who can read? Because you have to be able to cast spells of that class in order to read it. Right? Okay, I have paladin and sorcerer spells. If that helps. I got I'm five checking spells. Almost or none. Unless I'm, uh, uh, yeah, this is a that. paladin spell. Oh, nice. uh, it's a scroll of revivify. Oh, would have been good before. <laughs> no, because yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody has that yet, right? She's you don't have revivify yet. Um, Ooh, this, I this, think you two are the only two that could read that. This, 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 mm-hmm. this could come in now. Hand. It is a higher level than you currently. Can I have use. third level spell slots. You do have third level, perfect. Because of my multi class. All right. With sorcerer. I think it has to be a paladin. Yeah. Spell I slot don't inside. have third level. Yeah. Paladin so it spell would just slots. require a check in order to use. I think yeah. is how that works. Could yeah, I? Could you cast it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. but either of us could yeah. use the the scroll we'll just be and cast it, and we're not wizards, so it's not like we can copy it into our a spell book or anything, anyway. And then you continue <clears throat> on your way north. Yeah. And you and get to I'll the add add final that. temple. Yeah, and that scroll of revivify. Uh, it's the final temple. Final As you enter. The Northern Temple. Again, there there doesn't appear to be any locks on the door. We're just going to hand away that just because I don't got anything prepared for it. Um, you see beautiful blue crystal ground with several marble dais evenly spaced about the room. Uh, looks like about nine in total, actually. At the center of each uh, marble square is a pillar etched with R in script. The marble walls around you have been polished smooth by the swirling winds that flow through the room, and wandering among the pillars is a tall humanoid figure. His gray skin fades around the torso, transforming into a swirl of dark storm clouds. Uh, he doesn't seem a tummy to... tummy ache? Yeah, he's got a tummy ache, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem to notice you, muttering to himself as he wanders aimlessly <laughs> through the you. temple. 
And you can see, like, hanging around his neck is one of these rooms. Yeah, right. And it, what, what does he look like? Then? So he's got, like, human up to the torso, and then it just dissolves into storm clouds below okay. the torso. Can we yeah. arcana check him? Uh, yeah, give me, give me an arcana or a nature check. I got a natural uh, twenty. Natural twenty on the arcana. Okay, so, yeah, you time. you both <coughs> know like you've you've read stories and you you is know that the wind are. back. <laughs> <laughs> These are gin. This is a gin. Oh. Okay. We're gonna wish for if we yeah, can capture, right? I can, I can, I can wish for vessel to put it in for my warlock levels back. <laughs> Maybe. Can we, wish, we can wish to be bound together forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go, uh, which and then one of us wants to approach him? <laughs> I will approach him. Okay. Excuse me, sir. And he jerks Ma'am. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm a woman. <laughs> Sorry, but from behind it looked like you were. Uh, he turns to face you and he says, Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Eve. And I've come here um, as charged by the trio. And You're here to see him. Yes. I, I can't allow that. And he kind of grabs the, the thing and he says, he, he must suffer. He must stay where he is. Do no. Who, he is. No. Nope. who no. is he? The Eternal Gale. And why must he suffer? Because he caused all of this, and he kind of like waves his hands around at the storm and everything. The 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 the, the oh jeez, the broken expanse. No, the temple's destruction. Ah. Hmm. Well, why? He's a fool. He's a fool. He's a fool. Well, maybe we're here to put an end to him. You would kill him? Um, no, we had to. Quite sure. What? What is he? He. I mean, you can't kill a demigod. Can you kill a demigod? I've never tried. Oh. I think we've almost killed him before. <laughs> I, I. I recently killed Once. twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Hmm? I actually will say that. What, what was your name? What was your name again, Big Guy? Yotem. Yotem. Mm. But that name is long dead. I don't want to have to fight you. We'd rather not turn to violence. But. He must suffer. He's suffering now, then? Yes. How so? He sits in his ivory tower, the weight of the world on his shoulders. And he, there's nothing he can do about it. Is that so the, long as nobody gets to him? Is that the large circular sphere in the center of all this? Yes. It's the I mean, of great the weight of the world sounds very figurative, not not literal. <laughs> so little, you know. That's uh, that's why we're talking to you. Why, why did he destroy the temples? He didn't do it on purpose. He just allowed it to happen. He's. Not my god. And perhaps he's just misunderstood. Perhaps he has um, made a mistake. Do you agree to kill him? I can't agree to killing someone whom I know nothing about. Then the stone remains with me. And he takes a step back. Unless we kill you, then the stone remains with us. In Eve's... um vision that she had mm-hmm. she didn't feel like bad feelings toward this the, guy, the dark right? figure yeah you didn't feel any like there wasn't like malice no. or anything like that nope well if if he did not destroy the temples directly but allowed it to happen then who or what did these you, aberrant creatures you've seen them running around skittering on their little legs yes we've been killing several yes but he told everyone to stay, to fight, so that he could fulfill his master plan. And what was that? <laughs> I'm not getting that out of me. <laughs> no. You leave or die. I guess we're choosing death. I guess we will die. 
Uh, you have chosen Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we all, gonna, we all surround gonna... him while we're talking. We keep itchy closer. We're just like, all right, death. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just go straight combat here. Like he prepares. There's no like sudden lurch into into fighting or anything. Okay. Uh, so. One more break as we set that up. Okay. All right, let's reveal the battle map here. As you can see, you've got the uh, white stone daises with the pillars on them. And then you've got all of the other stuff is kind of that blue marble crystal. Uh, Bolt, give me your initiative. Three. Three. Terrible. Eve. 13. That's terrible. <laughs> um, Ezra. Ten. Saradon. Ten. Victor. What's your dex? Five. Plus nine. Okay. And plus four. So there is a lair action at the start of the round. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we like harmonize. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's sense so changes. At the start of the round, everybody is anybody on one of like the marble squares? Mm-hmm. Don't no. think so. Okay. So uh, the tiles with that are on the marble, uh, there's this thunderous clap, and uh, they all kind of, they all kind of like resonate at the same time with the thunder magic, uh, just as Ooh. this fight begins, and it seems to kind of like electrify the air a little bit, or it, it seems to kind of be like vibrating the ground underneath your feet. Okay. So nothing happens because nobody is next to them, and we start with Victor. All right. Um. I just want you to know I'm making this attack out of adoration, and you know, like a fellow wizard and all. <laughs> fully, like fully, fully embrace the robe. If I will come over here. Okay. <clears throat> and I am going to attack him. I'm going to use Blackthorn, or uh, Cinder Hearth. Let's see. 27 to hit. 27 will hit. Nobody's within his striking range, so yep. I don't hit the other one, so that's 12 damage. And I do want to point out that the, those pillars aren't taking up the full square, so you can be in the marble squares if you need to. Okay. Right, so they don't worry about like trying to like etch around them or anything like that. You can be on those squares. Okay. Okay. What's up? Okay, 12 damage. Uh, yeah, you just kind of like come in and slice him uh, as you're like passing by. You're still within range of him, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. next one. Eve. Um, I will cast Bless. Bless! Again, at second level, so everyone has blessed now. Okay. Bless. Anything else you'd like to do? That'll be it. You're gonna stay where you are? Yeah. And as a note, when I attack him, as I'm approaching is when I'm throwing it, so the dagger's out there. Okay, perfect. Uh, Ezra. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I send <laughs> Ixburn out of there. Give myself some advantage and some sharpshooter action. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna be. Um, twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two will hit. All right. Oh, horrible. Um, eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. I'm gonna use my final arcane shot on him. And uh, wrap him up with some grasping arrow. Okay. So 2d6 poison damage. So that's 5 poison damage. 5 poison damage. You might be able to push him. He's only large. He is only large. Yeah, I will push him. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be another d6 for my superiority dice. So that's and he has to make more. a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. DC is 16. That's straight away from you. Uh, just, yeah, 15. Up to uh, 15. He does not make his save. Okay, so I'm going to push him. Um, I'm going to do 10. 15. I'm gonna push him. Oh, I don't want to move my and this I, I do not get an opportunity. No, because no, no, it's forced. forced. Fifteen or ten? I I can do it can up, be to up to fifteen. So I'll just push him right there. Okay. It's good enough. And then it does extra uh, damage. Two d six. Sorry, what was the da- extra damage from the other two d? It was six. D- six. And then six again. So twelve more. Yeah. Total. So six of that was poison, and now six is uh, slashing. Okay. Perfect. Nice. <clears throat> um, and then my second shot. Yeah, again, you kind of like pack extra force behind this, and you uh, just like send him spiraling backwards, and the second shot comes in. Uh, with sharpshooter, that's going to be. Um, why can't I do math? It's so late. 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Um, 
for 23 damage. 23. You know what? I'm going to action surge. Action surge. Yeah. Yeah. Two more times. Yeah. Why not? Um, so that's going to be sharp sharpshooter again. Uh, uh, why can't I do a 22 to hit? 22 will hit. For... Um, 23 damage. Okay. And then the final shot is going to be. I'll just roll that just to make sure. 18. 18 will hit. Okay. For 23 damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, you just like full Ooh. on, nice. you, you channel into your, your tuition training and you just arrow after arrow after arrow, and they just keep like smash, smashing into him. Uh, yeah, good job. All right. Ceradon. Okay. So it will run up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 right here. Okay. And make some attacks. Let's see. Oops. First is a 19. A 19 will hit. Cool. 15 damage. Okay. 15. And the next is a 25 to hit. 25 will hit. Four. 13 damage. 13. Okay. And then final. Is it 18? 18 will hit. Four. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a um, smite at the second level. Okay. On this one. Nice. So that's gonna be. So she just comes around and she's just like. For no sarai. And you see like the the left end of her um, of her double bladed scimitar um, kind of glow with like a golden yellow light nice and and like like a little bit of like a song coming out not like a choir do you know what I mean mm -hmm. but almost a more like a like a faint like flute and, um, and sorry I'm just looking for my d8 there it is Okay, so that's 10 plus, so 22. 22 total damage. damage. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that it. just slashes right through. You see, like, you get a good cut on his gut there. Mm -hmm. And then it is his turn. And he is going to make a trio of attacks back at you. Okay. He knows the tree. That's a 15 to hit. Yes. A twenty-five to hit. I'm gonna cast shield. Okay. So it misses. And then the other one misses as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you bring around that golden light, and as you bring it around, it wraps itself around you as he comes down with a scimitar with three strikes that he kind of just conjures from the air, uh, and they just hit that shield and just send glowing sparks. Yeah, I was gonna say I want I wanted the the shield spell to be sort of like that golden yellow. But like when you hit it, it makes almost like a discordant note. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where it's like, like a, like a disharmony. Yeah. Like someone just took a like a harpsichord and just like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Bolt is your turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna run up and punch him in the cloud. You <laughs> give him two cloud punches. Um, so one's a. Oh, let me roll my. Don't forget the glass. Don't forget the glass. Twelve. Twelve will miss. Okay. And the other one is a twenty-one. Twenty-one will hit. Nice. However, he is immune to thunder damage. Oh, okay. So your your gauntlet slams in, and you hear that crack, and it just kind of like absorbs into the clouds itself. So he would he still have. Disadvantage on attacks against somebody else, even though they he didn't. Hit. Uh, yeah, creature hit, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so yep. there's That's still cool. a disadvantage. Yep, but still it's worth not. it. Yep. And then that brings us to the top of the round, and it is round two, which means the lair action triggers, and anybody that is not on a marble pillar 
needs to huh. roll me a Constitution saving throw, That's please. Everybody. As uh, this kind of this kind of tingle that you've been feeling under happen. your feet arcs lightning and starts clawing at you. Seventeen. Seventeen is a save. Twenty-five is a save. Remember that you have plus five if you're within ten of Eve. And you have eighteen. Eighteen is a save. Oh, plus count. Plus, plus count. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Um, Twenty-eight is a save. Fifteen. Fifteen is a failure. Dang it. Uh, so well, good. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so, uh, you're all, everybody but Ezra is going to take half damage from this. Okay. All right. I thought we were going to do the whole like avatar. Yeah. Throw so side. it's fourteen lightning damage. Seven for those of you who uh, take half. It's not a magical effect, so uh, it's not reduced further. And then, uh, because you failed your saving throw, Ezra, you cannot take reactions this turn. Oh. And so that lightning kind of arcs out and starts arcing towards the pillars yeah. once again. <laughs> and then it is Eve's turn. Okay. Eve will run on up. Run on. Run on. Run on. Where are you going to go? Um, you can stand on the white. You can stand on the white part if you here if you want. <laughs> sure. Or you can go past because you have enough movement to go yeah. right here. If you were um, here, then Victor would be in your aura as well. Yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. All right, so we will make an attack with... With Miss Nate Coles. <laughs> with Miss Nate Coles. Miss Nate Coles. <laughs> 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 so bad. 23 to hit. 23 attack minutes. people with their snake holes. <laughs> She sounds so provocative, but I have no idea what it's supposed to be a euphemism for. 15 damage? Hit him with your hookah. I, I mean, snake hole is just a good name for a lounge. Mm-hmm. A snake hole. Actually, no, that's that is a, right. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, that sounds uh, oddly familiar. Second that's attack why. is a 16. 16 uh, will miss. Plus 5. That will hit. <coughs> 4. <coughs> 8. And Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. Damage. Okay. Yeah, you come on in and just like two quick smacks with your snake. <laughs> why, why do I do it? Too? Name it the I should make that. No. Awakenator. <laughs> I don't. We gotta come up with. That. Yes, we do. Uh, come up with a snake name, and then it's cool. Like the, the, goat, the viper. Thing, yeah, the viper. That's right. My turn. Okay. Yes. The black mom. Yes. Snake. Snake. Why did it have to be snakes? Cool. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of sharpshooter. Mastermind oh, or Mega Mind. Um, it's gonna be twenty five, twenty six to hit. Twenty six will hit. Okay. It's gonna be uh, twenty three damage. Okay. And then my second shot. And the second shot. Crit. Nice. Oh, yes. baby. So it's been a good night for okay. Zha Zha. Uh, and Vicky, the two of them. And then that's one was. It's my favorite part is listening to. So 38 um, damage on that crate. Yeah. Dallin, do math. Always. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow. <laughs> like, oh, no, especially when I'm it. tired, I'm like. I am uh, let me write much this down. slower. So your first uh, kind of <clears throat> hits him in the arm and exposes his chest, and the second goes right into his heart. <gasps> oh. And he goes, fire. As he disperses and fades away, uh, leaving behind, oddly enough, uh, all the equipment he was wearing, so a pile of loot. Um, there is a there is a large tempest core with golden cracks, or not cracks, but golden like lightning running through it. This is a greater tempest core, mm-hmm. so this is even better than the other ones. It is worth. Yes. I think it's worth like. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little dirty with all this uh, this assisted suicide stuff we've been doing today. I know. <laughs> we really it's, uh, let's change our name to the Kevorkians. <laughs> yes. It's a th- you can get a thousand gold if you sell it. Nice. Okay. Or you can bring them back if you need to. I will go ahead and in addition put that into the uh, bag holding. There is a large blue sapphire that faintly resonates with magic. Pretty. Uh, the rune stone, obviously. A pair of daggers, one gold and one silver, that resonate with magic as well. Silver and gold. And a small uh, folded up piece of parchment Mm. that uh, doesn't seem magical. And when you open it, it looks like it is written in Arin. I declare that I'm not no good. It's still written in Arin. (laughs) 
Mm. It's not the right paper. <laughs> um, I can't make it out. If we got ten minutes, I'll see if I can identify it. Well, I can. I'll have to do one of each, but the daggers. Okay. I know what they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the daggers. So, minutes total of so the daggers are a pair, so you don't have to identify okay, them cool. individually. Uh, they are called Aurum and Argentum. Aurum, like gold. R A U R U M, and Argentum. And they are from the Griffin Saddlebag. So let me grab that really quick. <laughs> You just want to take a picture and send it to me? Um, I'll read it off and then I'll hand it over to you so you can take a look. Piece of cake. Yeah. Just because, yeah. Uh, I can make a custom item for it. What were those things that they dropped called again? Uh, the core. Tempest course, yeah. Yep. Oh, the core. <laughs> this gold and silver set of daggers seem ordinary when used on their own, but become magical when used together. Mm. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with these daggers while you hold one of them in each hand. When you engage in two-weapon fighting using these daggers, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the second attack. Without having the... Oh. So that's, using so that's giving you free yeah. two-weapon fighting. So it's like having two-weapon fighting. Style. In yeah. addition, if you hit the same target with both daggers in the same round, it takes an extra 1d4 piercing damage from the second attack and can't use its reactions until the end of your turn. Now, I've Sorry, been forgetting Scott. that I have the Good piercer time. feet the whole time. I assume that stacks with these? Um, yeah. I can reroll yep. one damage dice re-roll. and... Yep. And then they're up in the upper left hand corner if you want to see a good representation. Ooh, nice. They're pretty. And we'll, we have that up on the screen, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you can spend 10 minutes identifying the gem as well. Yeah. And that is an those. air elemental gem. Just okay. Okay. Oh, like so someone's one. My, yep, someone's uh, an air elemental. Oh, uh, if you break. So I will hold on to that. To okay. hit Do you have a strong weapon fighting style? Sweet. I took a picture of it. And then I, I will <laughs> we'll get a good print of it for you as well. Mm-hmm. You and then there is the scroll. Who no. who wants to hold on to that little uh, oh, that's my scroll. piece of paper? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you? Okay. okay. I'll have to find someone to translate. Okay, I got piercer and throw mm-hmm. weapon. So do I took. What? Did, sorry, did he say the name of the guy in the temple? Uh, he called him the Eternal Gale. The Eternal Gale. Yep. And that God. guy's name is yes. Yotem. 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 Yo, is it called an air elemental gem or like gem Tim. of? Um, it should it should be like elemental gem blue sapphire. Yeah, right. elemental gem blue sapphire. And what does that do? It summons an air elemental. Yep. You can break it to summon one to fight for you for like an hour, I think. Nice. Does it disappear uh, afterwards, or is it now like stuck on this realm? Or I don't want wants to kill you. Is it like a? The it says when it use an action to break the gem. An air elemental is summoned, as if you had cast the conjure elemental spell. Oh, it lasts for an hour. And then fades away. And it fades away. Okay. Yep. I'll I'll uh, hold on to that and use it if we need. Good. Cool. All right. So you have all four rune stones. The last two are in your hands. Um, you continue around the horn to the last yes. set of yes. barracks. Let's go put them back. Yep. Yes. Um. So in the last barrack, oh, because there is oh. one more between you and there that you haven't explored yet, uh, you do find one item of interest: a silver chest, hmm. and there are a few. Burn marks that are kind of scattered around it, as if like the the area has been scorched. Hmm. Is it locked? Uh, yeah, it does appear to be locked. I would like to check it for traps. Okay, go ahead. Natural one, thank you. <laughs> Looks good. Open it up. I, I too this scorch like mark check. has nothing to do with opening the chest. <laughs> I, I would like to check. Okay. Investigate. Yes. Natural twenty plus seven. So Natural seven. twenty. Yeah. Uh, there is a there is a magical lock on this chest. Uh, without saying the proper command word, the chest will not open, and it will shock anybody that tries to that tries to touch it. Okay. You can dispel the magic if you want, um, or you, if you know the command word, you can open up the chest. Open is there anything is there, about what is wind bag? face is a wind bag? What, what? What's his face? I don't have the locket anymore. <laughs> That's right, you gave it to Eve. <laughs> Midix, Midix is a wind. That Medix is a win back. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a click. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good guess. Uh, and you open up the chest. There is 200 gold inside, 100 silver pieces, and 50 copper pieces, as well as two potions of greater healing mm. and a potion of maximum power. Yeah, I told you guys so it wasn't gold. I found it the other day. I was excited for it. 200 gold. How much silver? 100 silver. 50, 50 copper. 
and two potions of greater healing, and a potion of maximum power. What did that do? The first time you cast a damage dealing spell of fourth level or lower within one minute after drinking this potion, instead of rolling the dice to determine the damage dealt, you can instead use the highest number possible for each oh, die. Let me hold on to that until I get fireball. That's like the Because <laughs> <tempest. laughs> so like the then it would be fireball. max damage to everybody that got hit. By it. That would be so strong. Yeah. All right. Well, like if no one Yeah. That'd be like you take that. damage. Um, is anyone in need of? Potions, the healing potions. I I'm good. You still have some. I still have some as well. I'm good. Okay, I'll I'll hold on to those too, and if you need them, let me know. So that's two potions. When we're dead, greater. then you'll know. <laughs> I have eight. Yep, and then nice. I can just pop the cork and put it in your mouth and go. Whoop. And then that that silver sheen that you see on saw on the chest turned out to just be like a, a cover. It. It's like potion of what was it? Ultimate maximum, maximum power. power. Maximum. Sounds like something that you get sense. off of a hair dryer. Yep. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> cosmic power. It's maximum power. <laughs> like <laughs> living space. <laughs> Twelve hundred. Okay. So with the outer ring of the temple fully explored, you head back down to the uh, southwest where the archway is. Uh, you put both stones in without ceremony. Are we? Taking like a breather. Let's take wow. a short rest. Uh, I, I, feel feel rest. <laughs> I feel like but we've gone in a circle. I might not get it. That's okay. That's okay. <sighs> well, we can't. Yeah. yeah. I'll take a short rest. So, take a short if rest. everyone wants to put in their money real quick. Yeah. Give it to me. That I. Okay. That I just. I just heard that. Uh, <laughs> Victor just said, I feel like we've gone in a circle because he can't see the, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, very, very astute, Victor, we have. Uh, it's, shaped, it's shaped like a ring. Oh, what, what's interesting. 40 gold, 20 silver, 10 kappa. Just one ring, then. 40 gold. Kappa, 20. Did you get the money 20, already? Uh, 40, 20, 10. 40, 20, 40, 10. 20, 10. 40 gold, 20 silver, 10 kappa. 20 kappa kappa. And... I think of the, the uh, <laughs> have you seen the, the Weird Al Yankovic version? Yeah. No, that's pretty fly for a rabbi. Yeah. Oh dear. Oi, mate. Oi. Um, so as you put the last two rune stones in, yeah, click them into place, there is a soft rush of air. All those wooden wind chimes start kind of picking up in tempo and just kind of rattling against one another as all four of the runestones start like uh, just creating a gale within the archway itself and soon enough there is a swirling gray portal inside the archway waiting for you. This is po post, post short rest? Yep. Did we do this? This is post short rest. Okay. Now I just... I've heard the story about this thing called Machin Shin. Mm. Is this one of those things that might happen? Wait, before we go in, is anybody feeling like they could use a little more healing? Like, in other words, are you at full health or not? Because if you're not, I can... Well, I'm both yeah, and I guys, can get I am okay. I'm good. I'm also... <laughs> I rolled my ankle a little earlier, but I'm good. Oh, stupid thing to work. This mission, it was given to me by the trio, and I know we're a team, but if any of you felt like you weren't up to going through this scary looking portal and this <laughs> meeting this eternal gale on the other side, I would understand. It seems like you don't know. Eternal it's gale sounds like a, like a, uh, my friend Gale. I was say, it, never it sounds, sounds like <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a secretary that's permanently a secretary. <laughs> the, the, the eternal <laughs> HR. <laughs> <Sarah Gale. Yeah. laughs> we all know a Gale. <laughs> Sarah just looks at Eve and gives her a smirk, and then like jumps through the portal. Yeah. Wait, me too. <laughs> no, I'm going in right after Sarah. <laughs> well, I was going I, to tie off a rope, but why not? I don't <laughs> think any of us would be here if that wasn't the case. It's just you, Bolt and me yep. left. And I'll just, I'll just like pat you on the shoulder and just walk through. Well, thanks for stealing my thunder. <laughs> 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 Suddenly there's just this blood splatters. <laughs> um, 
and where they end up, we'll have to find out next time. Uh, <laughs> because we have had a wonderful episode Endless tonight. Swirling. Yep. And we will find out what happens in the heart of the Eternal Gale in a week. Done. Ooh, done. Yeah. Done. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. To remember to subscribe, comment on uh, your favorite fart story. I think you will be <laughs> determined here. Uh, <laughs> good fart. Yeah, good fart. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Please don't. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming to the new channel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Fire merch. We got hats. We got cups. <laughs> we got stickers. We got shirts, but we don't have underwear. Nope. Not yet. 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 Not yet. <laughs> Going down space. Uh, yeah. And subscribe. Share it with your friends. Yeah, like, know, kind of weird. get us up to get us with up to that 10k horse. subscriber oh, count, and we'll start yeah. posting some extra videos. I'm so excited. We got our plans in the works for this. Oh channel. yeah. So. Yep. And extra uh, videos. Yeah. Corey will be modeling the underwear. The underwear. <laughs> That's. The Ezra Unicorn <laughs> Horn underwear. Right. Wow, our subs tank right after this episode, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's late. Hey. Uh, good night, everybody, and Happy New Year. See you Bye. Bye. See you next year. <laughs> oh, so confusing. <laughs> that would be so long between episodes. <laughs>